Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome everyone. All right. Welcome, welcome back to some more star view. Also found out a very interesting, slightly cruel thing about this game. I can run this game at full 60 frames per second now. Catch is, that's without OBS. We're going to see how it does with these new settings with OBS. If it still chops, then what's happening is, is I'm at my, I must be like right at the roof. Where like I'm right at the limit of my roof where my video RAM is. So OBS is sending it over the top. So this is why it has performance issues once we start streaming. But I just got done testing it. And yeah, it definitely it's it's okay when it's which sucks when I'm not streaming. <laughs> which is I could enjoy this game at least on my own if I wanna do, but I'd rather stream it for you guys. So we're gonna see how today plays out. If this stream gives me too many performance problems game wise then what we're going to do is put this one on hold, on the back burner. I'm not going to touch it because I don't want to ruin the experience and play it too much on my own and then not be as into it next time we try to do it. So, what I'm going to do, if that problem occurs, is we'll put it in the back a little bit. And I have other games, technically, I have on the docket for Shooter that I'm, I moved back for Starfield. Just because I wanted to do Starfield more. But if it does give us too many streaming issues, we'll temporarily put it back on the, uh, on for later on down the road. Um, just like I said, as everything works out, hopefully two, two, three months, then, then things can, I can get some VRAM and make this a little bit more bearable for my rig. But, plus many other games are starting to kind of push it now too. So, let's just get to that point. We've reached a new level of tech, so it's going to be gonna be an up, uh, uptake on a lot of things. That's why I have to mess with a lot of settings right now in most modern games. So, But welcome, welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. So I'm going to give it a few minutes, let everyone have a chance to join up so we can, uh, can catch whatever, whatever we get to do today. I'm not going to delete the video if it don't go bad, by the way. We're going to keep this as part of the series. Um, I'll just change the title if I need to. Um, so we can pick up where we left off if we have to put it in the back. So, but I hope everyone is ready for a journey. If it does work out and my settings did turn out to be better than yes, last times. Because I'm starting to learn the range of certain things I can do with some of the newer, harder, higher end games. So. If this works, then we found a, mi a middle ground we can go for a little while. So, for any new games. Some games will be worse than others, because some companies are better at optimization than others. Looking at you, City Skylines. It did, <laughs> just again. But, it <laughs> oh, but, uh, but either way, we'll make it. It's going to be great. We'll make it work. And plus, I can't, uh, we've got Halo going. We're going to be doing that for a while for the shooter side just for shooter. We're only talking about shooters in general right now. Strategies tend to be a little bit more manageable because the way things work. Most things that stress out a strategy game are the number of units on the rig and how much it has to render video-wise of just pure mass. That's what usually kills rigs and strategies. Whereas in shooters, it's about the rendering of the characters, the detail of the models, the environment itself is a big play into that. So. Plus, even though I have to spoil the beginning of the game a little bit for myself from now on, I think the safe is also choice I'm going to make from now on when I make try to start up a brand new game that's very high end 
I'm gonna do at least the tutorial level once off camera all the way through the reason for this is and I should have done this with Starfield I did it today um, to, to make it a little bit more efficient I went back and played through the tutorial we already saw with Lynn and the, uh, the mining station getting attacked the whole fight was completely 60 frames per second because of my new system the way I did it at least without streaming um, this at least tells me if I can get the fights to run it full bore then there's a chance there's not going to be as much drop in frames maybe down to 30 at worst when we go to stream which is more acceptable 30 is low end but it's more a at least it's still an average and the game won't look make you know won't look like it's gonna make someone sick every time I turn my camera <laughs> it's like being on a boat but with a camera <laughs> um but that's my new rule for it. it will spoil at least the beginning story a little bit for me when I'm trying to start up the stream and I won't be as surprised by certain things you'll notice but that'll only be for the tutorial portion because I need to see what combat looks like in a high end game and see what settings I need to change because that's when the rig will really just hate me is when the fighting starts especially in shooters because physics, bullets, bouncing, ricochets da 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 things start happening adds more and more <laughs> stress to the v to the VRAM to render certain particles, things like that. <laughs> so This is why I've always done strategies on the rig on my rig and let shooters be console, because consoles are more optimized for this. Okay. Alright, what time is it? It's five. Five. Four fifty-four. About to be five. We'll give it about five more minutes. Give everyone a chance to join up. I'm gonna do something real quick. You uh, uh, probably won't hear me for a sec. I'm just gonna check on some things real quick, and I'll be back. Okay. Uh, of course it does. It's like a beet. It's beet, mm -hmm. beet and orange juice. Ah, uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> it's good for the heart. Uh, circulation. Uh. Beets don't like beets yet. <laughs> beets. Beets my drink. <laughs> Alright, hold on. <laughs> Parts, uh, ranchero. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Huh? What? 
Well, what? <laughs> well, all right. Do 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 do. I keep getting interrupted. <laughs> Also, before I go away for a second, while we wait the next four minutes, um, if it, I can still see chat, so if anyone comes in chat, I'll, I will definitely notice, because just, just do not worry. I'm not going away away from anything, I'm just doing something real quick with settings and stuff and checking some things on YouTube on my phone while we wait. Give everyone a fair chance to join up. This is probably going to be more of our normal time, 4.30 and 5 o'clock is our start time unless I'm planning on a very big day and I need multiple streams which we're gonna be doing that this weekend to guarantee that we're gonna beat reach because we have to beat reach this week like we have to beat it during this theme so we can keep up with how many halos there are so we won't slow it down until we get closer towards four five and infinite because they're the ones I remember the least. Well, two of them I've never played, but four I remember very little. I beat it, but I don't remember very much about it except for the end. Except for what happened at the end, so. But. We are going to be doing it that way. So that way we can keep up with how many there are. Because the first couple won't be that hard to beat. Even Reach is not that long. Halo 1 through 3 is not that long either in retrospect to some more modern games and how long some of them have become, even shooters. So, and since we're not going for every secret, not in this playthrough anyways, if we don't already have the skulls, I think the only thing that's going to slow us down is my determination whether I want to do one mission if we already have the skulls lasso style, let them, uh, or... Which, remove an S, by the way. We call it, Everyone just calls it lasso. It's technically not spelt right, because that's two S's. But, uh, it's... Legendary all skulls on, yeah, so. Lasso with one, with one S less. But, if you ever remember those playthroughs, I used to be able to do that. I used to play quite often with like that when I was young with Halo. With most of them, I'd also played on Legendary in general most of the time. <laughs> if it was already unlocked. Because in the newer ones, they give you all the difficulties. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure you had to beat it on Heroic back then to get Legendary, but I can't remember. It's been too long. When they were first actual individual games of their own, they weren't like the collection that is now. So do you like the way the collection does it? Makes it a lot easier to work with things. It's a hefty install along with Starfield. These two are definitely going to have to be temporarily... Well, Starfield's going to have to be temporarily deleted. And this is where the inconvenience comes in because of the size of Star Starfield. If I have to, I will have to temporarily delete this and reinstall it every time we're going to do a theme with it. Do, do the shooter theme. Halo, I'm going to leave because it's a hub. It's the reason why it's so hefty. It's the hub controls all the games. And you just download the individual games and the hub plays them. So. Oh, it is time. Let's. This is going to be the real test. So let's see, chat. Uh, I think it's this one. I have an exit save. Closer to end time. And let's load this one. Let's see how it's going to do.
I mean, that's better. Okay, so with OBS, we've reached some sort of middle ground. It's not perfect, but that's far better than what it was last year. Far better. We'll see what it's like when we get outside. Also, aren't I still over encumbered? Yep. Yeah, that's far better than it was last time. It did drag down a little bit right there. I think it collapsed again a little bit, but it'll just have to be. It just doesn't like OBS. It's fine. Let's go to New Atlantis. Oh, hold on. Where are you, big guy? I need to put stuff in here. Get your butt back over here. Constellation will be waiting for you at the lodge. Roger. Alright, let's trade gear. I am ready to commence a trade. I need to give you stuff. Uh, you have, you can hold 135 mass. I need to give you the rest of the miscellaneous. That we're gonna sell. We'll keep some. Of, this is actually good because that means I can sell. When I want to sell stuff, I put it on him and take him with me. That seems like a good idea. Alright, let's go back to. Wait, Frontier? Oh, there must be a building we're gonna get to put stuff in. Yeah, Vasco has all that stuff now. Good. No, I don't have it. Your memory is uncanny. Haha! <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Sir? Who are you? And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Oh. I'd like to view and modify my ships. What? Okay. Let me see what ships you have for sale. Where did you say I could sell things? I'm gonna ask that in a second. Let me see this first. I'm sure you can find something you like. Oh, the game's gonna hate me on this. Whoa, the Rambler. Oh yeah, game don't like that. It does not like the size of that ship. Game certainly don't like that. Whoa, that was even worse. The Galio. Gladius, that's what we're in, right? Yeah, that's what we're in. We're in so we're in a Gladius. Pretty sure that's what we are. Might be a bigger version of what we are. That's kinda what we look like. Achilles. Well it could be an Achilles. Wait, no, that opens up from the back. Ours opens up from the front. The Akana Hall. The Kiefer. I do want something with storage on board, which would be nice. The Responder. Shield Breaker. That's a cool name. That, you know, sir. Wow, look at the guns on this thing. You know, sir, someone would have this one. <laughs> That's a crazy ship. <laughs> Oh, it did not like that. Ah, uh, the see what's you know what this game's issue is. Okay, so that made it a problem. I'm gonna have to quit and reset. So I know what the game's issue is. It's ha it's because it's having to constantly re-render um, the game 
I'm gonna do something. We're gonna we're gonna save it right here. Real quick. Yes. Because it was doing better, but I know what it's doing now. It's every time it has to render in something new, it that's when it scales up and down. And when I'm not streaming, it's fine, because it's got enough extra to do this. But once I start streaming, that roof is already reached, so once it does it again, it, it tanks it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have to quit for a second, chat. We're going to quit the main menu. We're going to quit the game for a second. Because I found out what happened last time, why it was so weird. So this is what I've got to do for it to be on borderless. Uh oh. Or Starfield will crash on me entirely. Uh oh. See? You game, glad it quit. Holy streamy Batmans, streamy, streamy Batmans, streamy Batmans. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know why I said streamy Batman. We're gonna stick with it. <laughs> this is what happens when you lose your mind, Jack. Now I gotta find it. There it is. Yeah, if this don't work yet, we're gonna have to put this on the back burner. And we're gonna have to do something different. I have a backup plan already in store, like I said, of what we're gonna play if this falls through. I have another plan in store. That will lead us to something even greater in the future that I need to go back and finish now that everything's going back to normal, hopefully soon. Especially with the console side of things. So, we're gonna try... Cause last time I kinda did it the reverse way and it kinda messed with the game, I think. So... Let's see what New Atlantis feels like on 1080p after I've already changed everything. See, that's better. So that might have worked. Let's see. Let's go talk to home. Not anything you need to offload. Trade authority is always fine. He asked right here for you. No, you lost it. Oh. <laughs> All right, good. We should be good then, if that's the case. Hold on. So now, let's go back in the ship thing. I'm sure you can find something. Because like. this thing tested its limits last time. Heck yes, yes. I okay. So I know what it wants me to do now. It needs me to go to 1080p on my screen first because the borderless... You can't trick this one like you can, um, Angler. So, but at least the trick still works in a different fashion. So, we've now got it to where it needs to be. Now the game looks pretty good. It doesn't give me any choppy issues and we can kind of just enjoy the experience finally. Good. Trial and error with the system. <laughs> also, what's it look like to view okay, and modify no my ship? Okay, no problem. Ah, so I'm in a front... That is what I'm called, Frontier. Wait, so... I can put storage in the Frontier. How? Hold on. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Through the ship, Vasco. Why, where? Is it outside? Or, hold on, is it in the docking bay? Oh, okay. Oh. What was that? That's the fire extinguisher. <laughs> Blender 
base. So yeah, but how? Okay, so how do we get? It'd be kind of cool to just put this stuff up here. What is that? Oh, it's a light. <laughs> well, let's get on board again. Hmm. Is there no? Wait, there was a transfer button, right? I wonder if I can put it in here. How much can this hold? Oh, no, it can only hold a mass of two. You? I assume the same? No. Small containers. I wonder if there's a way to buy containers. Kind of like in Fallout. Let's board real quick. Now that we've got the game running, we don't have to worry about rushing now. Now it's just all about figuring out how my ship works. But everything's lagging and kind of half broken. It's kind of hard to like look around and actually take in things. So... Just make sure I wasn't an idiot and missed the storage on board somewhere. Besides our little locker. It's, maybe that's the thing it's talking about. These would... I, I wish these were transferable. There's gotta be a way to buy containers, I assume, then. Because right now you're the only thing. How much do you hold? 40, so you're not great either, to be fair. Okay. Well, let me get my digipegs out of there, I just saw. I don't want to leave those in there. Well, I can do it this way. Take the digipegs, yeah. Everything else can stay. I don't know. That's strange. Alright, well, Vasco, you're in my storage for now. Let's go. Come on. This guy. That's not no. I will pull this gun out. Sergeant Hughes looking for reliable people to help the guards. Contact. Ah, okay. I will see you most likely later, Ms. Brooks. Talk to Sergeant Yumi. Huh. 
Okay. Oh, hi. I, I, yes, I totally understand. Clearly. I think those are bags. Okay. So if I have contraband in Vasco, he'll get shot at, I assume. Okay. No bounty. Clear. Oh, if I have a bounty. I see. This is very awesome. Now that we've gotten this running, this is a dope game. What is this? Ah, New Atlantis information. Welcome to New Atlantis. Welcome to the city of New Atlantis, capital of the United Colonies. And for many, the settled systems as a whole. You stand now in the most technologically advanced city that the human race has ever conceived and constructed. New Atlantis was founded in the year 2160, a mere four years after we first arrived in the Alpha Centauri system. Uh, if you're a resident, then you're already familiar with your fantastic home. If you're a visitor, you are honored guest of the United Colonies and will be treated as such. Our courteous and professional security, professional security personnel can be found all over the city. And it's their job to ensure your time in New Atlantis is joyful lawful and productive. So as you stroll the streets or take the Nat train to the city's different districts, know that you are in the embrace of the United Colonies and couldn't be in better hands. Huh. Our shared history. We are the children of Earth. The United Colonies as an entity was first established in the year 2159 on the planet Earth as a means of unifying the human race as we spread amongst the stars. Our goal was the peaceful exploration and colonization of space, working in harmony with anyone who wished to sail forth across the blackest sea to New Horizons in 2161. We issued the Centaurus Proclamation, which formalized the colonization of distant worlds for anyone who wished to do so. Unfortunately, not everyone shared in our dream. When wars erupted across the settled systems, the United Colonies stood steadfast protecting humans in their right to fairly colonize. And then, when our beloved home world was rendered uninhabitable in the year 2203, United Colonies knew it had, the, had a sacred responsibility. We were to be the keepers of the earth, its artifacts, its ideals, its cultures, its very people. So while you stand on, on the planet Jemison, in the city of New Atlantis, in the Alpha Centauri system, know that for all intents and purposes, you are still very much on Earth, and Earth takes care of its own. Corporate Directory. Here in New Atlantis, a citizen or visitor is, can just find out about any information they may need. From freshly brewed coffee to completely bo complete body reconstruction. That's an extreme leap. <laughs> Yes, if you want some coffee or you want to change your entire body, is the information panel for you. <laughs> oh, man. We have it all. The following is a list. <laughs> it's a list of corporations and businesses that have found a home in New Atlantis. District location is indicated in parentheses. Terra Brew Coffee Spaceport Commercial. Jimison Mercantile, Merchantile, Spaceport. The Viewport Tavern, Spaceport. Centurion Arsenals, Residential. Reliant Medical, Residential. Enhance, Commercial. Chunks, Residential. CJ's, Residential. It Clothing, uh, Residential. Uh, I'm gonna no ET clothing is what I'm gonna call that because I think that's what it's trying to be funny with. ET clothier residential Outland commercial Jake's the well 
Apex Electronics, the well. I don't know what the well is. Sounds crazy. Other buildings and services. Here in New Orleans, you'll find a wide variety of buildings that provide various functions and services. They, they include the Gal Bank, commercial. SSNN, commercial. The Trade Authority, the well. Sanctum Universal Church, MAST. House of Enlightenment, the well. Free Star Collective Embassy, MAST. House Varun Embassy, MAST. Infinity LTD Corporate Headquarters, commercial. Medbay, the well. UC Surplus, the well. Okay. I don't know where any of that is, like, because I don't know. Oops, I forgot that changes camera. How do I bring it back? Uh, map. No. I forgot what button. Is there a map button? In this game, I never, I didn't really think about that. I actually don't know if there is. I think we we just have to use our. That's right, we have to use our uh, mini map thingy, compass. This compass is all we get. Let's go find out whatever this is. He frequently buys chocolate here. Oh. Though I have informed him repeatedly, it is likely a significant contributing factor to his being hey. overweight. Hey. 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 <laughs> back up. You don't talk about chocolate like that. Okay? You understand about that, man? You understand? You will learn from your new master. You will learn to love chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bella, what is this place? Hi there. Hi. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. Okay. I can take care of transactions. And got questions? Just ask. Gotcha. Nice place you've got here. Thanks. It's hard work, but it all pays off in the end. And I can't take all the credit. Gerhardt, my business partner, he does so much of the work behind the scenes. If it weren't for him, I don't know where we'd be now. Oh, please, take a look. Wow, did they just sell guns here? <laughs> oh, this place was supposed to sell chocolate. I see guns. That's not chocolate. <laughs> oh, oh, it looks <coughs> delicious like chocolate. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look at that price. This thing's a machine. <laughs> Just stopping by for a little bit. Be right back. Okay, closet. Well, a slow one today anyways but luckily I got Starfield up and running so now we can all enjoy the Starfield beautiful gun <laughs> can't do that though oh yeah sell stuff wait can I sell stuff to you so yeah there we go I gotta grab the stuff. Oh, hold on. Now, now I gotta overload myself because I've gotta grab all the stuff off of uh, Vosco. Oh, where Vosco? Where you at? I gotta sell stuff. Found the place to sell stuff. The barge is here in the city. We shouldn't keep Constellation waiting. Yeah, I get it. How may I be of service? You will give me all of your stuff that I gave you so I can sell it. Yeah, there's some good money in, in here, bro. We, we, got, we collected some money. It's going to overweight me again. And I'm probably going to run back to the ship and get the rest after I do this. Don't take the lasers out. All right. Madam, I hope you have enough money in the store. Please, take a look. (laughs) 
We don't want to sell our digi picks. We want to sell all these. Yeah, they're not going to be worth as much probably, but you know, hey. The amount of things we have is what matters. Just like in, um... <laughs> All these wine glasses. Ooh, almost up to 2,000 already. Thanks for coming in. Thanks. Which means that I could probably, since there is a max value, we're not going to mid max that hard in the beginning of the game, but this means that there is a. You probably sell certain things to certain shops and make more. Because you base it on its original value and what they're giving it, how close to the value they're giving Although you. Although I have attempted an analysis several times, I simply cannot quantify humans' addiction to caffeine. Alright, first you talk about my chocolate, now you're talking about my, my coffee. Well, Vasco, we're gonna have to do some reprogramming, bud. <laughs> Coffee. Oh, this feels realistic. Sadly, that is actually kind of a thing now. Oh, wow. Mm, latte. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I love that you can actually get coffee. This game is a very, very good... has some very, very good personality to it. I love it. Alright, Vasco. We're kind of just exploring right now, bud. What's back here? Oh, it's an elevator. Okay, not yet. I want to go to my objective and see what's all on this floor before I take any elevators or anything like that. To be fair, I'm already lost. I think that's the dock over there. <laughs> the universe of leisure? Who let Sledash in here? <laughs> oh, I have to take the train. Oh. New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. The NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Okay. Steel. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I thought I could just use it. I guess you have to have an account with a Meister. Like, wow, that's realistic. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that being that realistic. Let's go check that elevator first. Today is exploration day. Now that we've got everything working. Starfield can now stick around for good. Aha. So we're at Spaceport, I assume. Let's go to the well. Yep, this seems like what I expected the well to be. See, when you know, you recognize a... It's, it talks a lot of good. Talks a lot of, yeah, we'll... For the citizens, for democracy. But it's like, even that I knew, the Wells slums, isn't it? It's where all the people who sadly aren't as powerful as the guys upstairs have to live. Uh-huh. You can always tell. Let's look around. Is this the same kiosk? Yes. Requires computer. I'm gonna get a computer soon. Ooh. See, I love the feeling of this game already on just all the stuff you can you can do. Oh hi weapon store. You must be UC surplus. So this is the true weapon store. This is where we want to sell our other, our extra guns. Let's do that now. Personally, I think daylight's overrated. I can buy just fine. All this stuff is legit. 
promise. The promise. When you look around, you tell me. You see is a big organization. A lot of planets, a lot of people, a whole lot to keep track of. Sometimes they don't do such a good job. Sometimes stuff falls through the cracks. Clearly. Of collecting dust in some wells. But that's all right. Like you said, I'm no, just kidding. I, you get to benefit. I make great deals on stuff in bulk, you get some low prices. Everyone wins. Everyone wins. Alright. How you like living in the well? A lot of people will tell you it's the worst. One step above being homeless. Then why? And it does kind of look like that. So much better. I like it. More real now. Topside, everyone's trying to show how. That's a good point in a way, but still. <laughs> but they reach their own. Hmm. That's a good way to look at it. I got all day. Think of that, but I got older. So, I need to go to weapons. We're gonna sell the old Eon. We don't need it anymore. This is where a lot of our money, I feel like, is gonna come in. We have how many of these? Five? We wanna sell four. I wanna keep one of each. Keeping the crack. Actually, no, don't I have a better Kraken? I have a suppressed Kraken. So I'm gonna get rid of the regular Kraken. Get rid of all six of the regular maelstroms because I have a better maelstrom. I have five cutters. That's also where I think a lot of my weight came from. It's all those weapons I was having. Sell so five axes. I'll get less than the items worth. Barely, right? Look how much I'm making from that. I made more here than I made at the other store. Which is usually what the kind of the case in most fallouts. Guns make you the most. Okay. Done. Do I want to sell my power to salt suits? It's got better thermal, better corrosive. Not as good at radiation. Not good at airborne. It's physical is less. It's better at energy. EM is the same. I'll sell two of them. I'll keep one just in case we need a different style of uh, setup. How much are you selling this for? Sell from ship inventory? Hold on, what? Wait, these are all components. Where is the ship's inventory? How do I access this? This thing can carry 145 mass. We need to figure out how to access our ship's inventory. I don't know how to transfer it to the ship. There's clearly a way to do so, but I'm not sure how. We're probably going to take a trip back out there before we go to the objective because I want to look one more time. This is driving me insane because clearly there's a some sort of storage bin some, or storage locker somewhere in there or in under it somewhere because it's got all of the other component stuff that I was looking for that's already in it. This has just been on the ship the whole time. <laughs> so that's so strange. It's got one A ship parts. Huh. Yeah, where is that? How do I deposit into that? Either way, oh, I wanted to see what weapons you had, even though I'm, I think I'm okay weapon wise, to be fair. That's a cool knife, though. I would like that better than a shank. Explorer's Grendel? Oh, wow! This thing's got a long barrel. It gets it speed up, but wow, it modifies its accuracy. See, I do like that. I like that there's that many crazy things, but you can make these yourself at some point, so I'm not going to necessarily dip in the paint for that kind of stuff. 
this little uh, cutter combat knife is only 500. This is that. This is what that rare thing is. So it's called a side star. Yo, Trap Game! Remember that game, Predator Hunting Grounds? They just announced a PS5 version and an egg. Oh! Yes! Don't tell James! <laughs> He's gonna be real upset! <laughs> they also have a ton, of, a ton of new roadmap planned all the way to 2025. Are you serious? The game, the game didn't die, I will say that. I know a lot of people probably did think that. They actually kept releasing Predators. Do you know how many Predator types there are in that game now? It's a, there's a lot. When I went back and looked at it, even though I didn't get to play it, because my PS5 can't play any games, I did check it out. I like I looked at it and went and kind of... I, da I downloaded it just to kind of load it up, because it doesn't kill me to load up the game. Just try to play it. So I looked at all the predator types. Dear God. <laughs> Let's just say, don't tell James. Because the amount of, if we were still had been playing that, the amount of predators they added and the certain types there is now, I'm like, yeah, you would have not liked me. <laughs> it had been hilarious. But then again, the, the Marines got a lot of stuff too. They, so I was like, the heck happened while I was gone? <laughs> and now hearing this just makes me more happy, but also like, damn. Also, this this inspires my hope again. Because this inspires me to be like, do a crossover. You're going to be big enough now, right? You succeeded. You got past the hard part. You've made yourself somewhat of a stable ground. Crossover. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, I do want to see even more Predators. Because there's so many more Predators there still they can do. It's just hilarious. <laughs> yeah, if they can fix it, uh, that PS5 could be a second lease on life. I mean, it was janky, but I still think it was fun enough to play. Like, that's why me and James put so many hours into it. The only reason why we kind of stopped is because, well, at some point the content kind of, the content well for a little bit, which is why I was surprised when I looked how much got added since I'd been gone. The content well kind of dried up. Yeah, it was a bit janky. I'll admit it wasn't perfect. It was not a perfect game by any means. But I think, but in its own right, that's kind of why it was somewhat, somewhat as why it succeeded over the other Predator games that didn't, is because the jankiness kind of gave it a little extra flavor. So, Spin this gun over, man. I don't know why I'm spinning the gun. Isn't there 13 predator types in the lore? Whoa, hold on. Yeah, uh, yes and no. Yes for the official types. But what I, well, I shouldn't say official. Yes for the types that are mainstream is what I should say instead. Meaning the ones we all know. But technically there's clans that I didn't even know, that I'm now learning about, that I didn't know existed. Because... There's still a lot of books out there I never got to read. And a lot of other lore that carries the universe even further beyond. Which is what a lot of this is now starting to feel like it's feeding off of. But both, even with Ridley Scott getting back in the train of Alien. Even that movie feels a bit more pushed in a different side of the direction, right? It's almost like, just by happenstance, because of popularity and the only thing that's kept these two creatures going, pretty much this entire time has been video games and books. It, it kind of makes sense that they're now embracing the book side as well, because it's the only other thing succeeding. So, 
13 types from the mainstream of Predator that is supposed to be original. Meaning, like, the Hunter class, the Spear Warrior class, the blah, 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 blah. There's a... I don't want to go through all of them. But... And then there's the classes that now, if you read the books that are being incorporated, there's subclasses, there's clans that are completely different than the Predators, which one of those got actually added to the game, to Hunting Grounds, and I did not know that. It's actually a clan of subservient Predators that are basically, for the, ba for the lack of a better word, sadly, enslaved to the other two Predator main clans, Suyatja and Yatja. Both enslave this clan. It's like a cave predator clan. Think of it like very primitive. They don't get the tech. They don't get all the good shit that the other two clans get. They have to rely on pure brute force, genetics, and just aggression. <laughs> it's like, so, this is also what I found out. Something I, that hasn't been covered ever in predator lore that we've joked on forever this is also where all the female predators mostly come from, apparently, that I did not know. And the reason why this is, is because, and I thought about this, it's the same difference we made the joke about orcs. If orcs had female orcs in Warhammer, Grimgore's wife would be a, probably more of a savage than he is. Just because... The only way that any any female orc would ever even be beside someone like Grimgore, she didn't have to kill the whole army by herself. So it's the same principle for the predators. The female predators are fucking scary. Now that we're starting to see more of them and starting to see what their lore actually is from the books being embraced, yeah, oh, yeah, wow, it's terrifying. And they're summoned, and they were in the game. There's actually already a female predator in the Hunting Grounds game, but I think they added two more. Um, which are more close. One of them is one of the more pri primal ones as well. They did a pretty good job, I think, coming back with that game, to be fair. I actually just saw a vid recently detailing the different predator ranks from... From Sucklings to the Bread King. Yeah, I love that they called them that. So stupid, bitch. It's a great name because it kind of makes sense from a human language. It's technically called something else in the Predator language, but in human translation, it's Sucklings. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, it was an awesome vid. Oh yeah, you can post it. I've seen, I know about the most of the, the rankings, but I love watching videos like that. I might have already seen it, to be fair. But yeah, go ahead and post it, Tim King. I always love checking out stuff like that. Oh, there was one I wanted to post earlier. I posted one in Discord, but I'll have to also post it on PlayStation. That was the one I already did post. But there was another one that was about tank size ranking in in Total War. Not Total War. Sorry. Warhammer 40k. I got Total War on the brain in the background. Um... That was a hilarious video, because I never even truly realized the stupidity of some of the scaling of the tanks, and didn't realize certain tanks actually are bigger than tanks you think they are. And it also kind of fixed some of the lore I thought was true, that I was told, that isn't totally accurate. But. The females don't hunt off world, but they are in charge when the, uh, when the males are off hunting. And they can be an equal rank to the tribal leader. Yes, they can. There is some exemptions to this rule, but yes. But most of them do come from the tribal clans. The one that's subservient to the other two clan major clans, Suyatja and Yatja. Because that clan has more savage females. They're stronger. Way stronger. Their genetics are also better. So most male Yatjas are going to prefer them. Or Suyatjas too are going to prefer them over anything even in their own clans. That's why they tend to get picked, especially for the leaders. Because, like I said, much like an orc, these ladies have to be pretty scary for them to even sit beside the tribal leader, especially the Pred King. Can you imagine what his ladies like? <laughs> so... Now, there are some females who don't have hunter males, mates, who have be, been adopted into clans and do get to hunt off world. It's not common, 
but it does happen. Usually they don't end up having a mate, though, I think, because the irony in this situation is, is the difference between the mentality is they actually now treat her like a male now, completely. So she not even seen the same way anymore, at least from their species' perspective. So, not only is she equal by all the pro proper means and on the field, but that's also a downside to, well, now she's also never going to find a mate, technically. At least according to the Predator way hierarchy. So. And I don't think, unless there's a book that I've never read before. I don't think there's any clans where female predators lead. Like, lead as in lead lead. Like, they're the predominant one, and the males are the secondaries. I don't think that's a thing. I don't, I've don't. i never read any books that show this. It's more predominantly of you're either with one of the tribe hunters and you do what Tam King says. They're, they're more like what Tam King says. Doesn't make them any less dangerous, by the way. Um, or you end up becoming part of a clan and you get a basically accepted in as a complete just hunter and you just live that for life permanently. Never being able to go back the other way. But it's the predator lore is amazing. So is Alien. Alien I like a little bit better. But I still. <laughs> Love me some Predators as well. That's why I'm, I'm excited to hear that, though. That makes me excited. That's not going to make James excited, because he doesn't... There's some memories he probably wishes he could forget from me in that game. <laughs> Much like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to buy this knife. Hey, take it easy. Uh, you too, sir. I'm gonna switch my inventory weapons, so we need, actually I need to sell that other shiv to him, that, that rip shank I don't want anymore, because this is better than that rip shank is. It's barely not as good as the rescue, but this will be faster than the rescue axe is, so we'll use this in more stealthy and quick occasions. Favorite, I need it on there. Oh, also, I can put my cutter on that now. I can finally now start differentiating a little bit better with these. Because I can, like, actually move my uh, left D-pad now, so. I kind of want small arms to be all on the same row. So I want you there. I want our suppressed Kraken there. I want you. We're gonna move guns to the down D-pad. I'll have to go into healing and set my healing up again. Uh, yeah, major guns are going down on the bottom. You're already down there, aren't you? You are. You're on the bottom. So you're going to go here. What else do I got? It's an assault rifle. Yeah, the females can't be leaders, but they can but they can't command the same respect as one and they're also tough as nails, yeah. Like I said, the most they can ever hope for if they decide they're not going to go that route, they can fight for their right to be accepted into a hunting clan. But once again, that does forfeit their right to have a mate. So, but yeah. But, but yeah, but like I said, either version is just as scary. That's why I'm glad they're embracing this in hunting grounds and kind of showing this. Because that's, how, that's what the characters they're adding are representing. They're representing the ones, the ladies who decided they just wanted to be hunters. They didn't care about the rest. And so, and those, and those are the ones that are really, really cool to play as, really, as far as that lore is concerned. It, 
I do hope, though, at some point, I think what they need to add, if they haven't already, if he's not in there, is the Predator King and his, uh, his war. Because if they have him and her in there, or maybe play it off as the male and female version, much like they always have, kind of do different stats and play a little differently between the, like, and just call it the Predator, the Royal Predator or something like that. I don't know what else you'd call it. Something like that. That'd be a cool ad if it's not Hardy in there. I didn't see anything like that, but there's still a lot of good ones. So that's all of our assaults, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Good, okay. So let's sit, let's sell the rip shank. You ask me, the real new bigger time. Big dog time. I got on there. Rip shank. Oh, okay. I gotta do a lot better at conserving. Okay, now what next thing I need to do? Watch your back out there. I will, thank you. Next thing I need to do is set up my aids here to be able to heal me. Treats infection, I need to heal the med packs back first. They need to be the first thing on the list. Yep, yeah, okay, set favorites. There, I'm also gonna put the grenade over here. Just because, uh, it'll make it a little bit easier on me. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's do it second. And then we'll do the grenade first. Now, what I want else is... That's a tanky thing. I only have one of those, though. Heal paste. Treats burns and frostbite. Some of these we may just go in the inventory to use just because... They don't seem like they're really noteworthy to put on quick bar. Like, some of the food might be if I have enough of it. Right now, a lot of this really isn't. I don't have, like, enough overstock on a lot of these, so let's not do that. So let's put you on there, though. There. That is a big pin, by the way. I guess they wanted to make sure you knew you pulled the pin out. <laughs> also, you'll notice, Tam Gang, I fixed it! Let me know if I can help you. Took a little bit of finesse, but I fixed it. Well, something... The more I have to work on my low end rig on doing things that are above its pay grade, the more I learn about how to do these things. So there's a there's a benefit to this. Andy Singe. We run a number of social programs from financial aid to food banks. Huh? Who pays for all this? We don't exactly pass around an offering plate. If that's what you're asking. But we do run mostly on donations. And as you might have guessed from the surroundings, we try and stretch those donations as far as we can. We started as an intellectual movement built around atheism. As our numbers increased, we began focusing on humanitarian needs and showing what humanity can achieve when we work together. That's cool. I do like that. I like that they're including real beliefs, even though it's a dangerous water to step in. Uh, even though it's dangerous water to kind of put your foot into. Especially right now. Um, I do kind of like that they do that right there. That, that, that this belief is founded on a real belief that came from Earth. And there's a lot of that in this game because New Atlantis and Jemison is basically a clone of Earth. But in a, like, now it's become like a super technological advanced place. Because I'm Earth sorry, is uninhabitable. About to say something? Yes. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Let me go ahead and do this. This is my extro extrovert perk kicking in. Humans are social animals. That's how we evolved. How we're built. But there are all sorts of situations where those evolutionary traits don't work in our favor. Is that what this is about? Well, 
there is a lot of solitude in my job. I need more self-sufficient. I need to be more self-sufficient. I just don't have the same energy to deal with it anymore. It's more complicated than that. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. It's more complicated than that. Whatever your reasons, judging friends, family, and work, it can be overwhelming. This is a common problem. A lot of R&D was poured into the subject in the early days of space flight. If you're up for an intensive session, you can work on it now. That's interesting. Wow, I can remove the extrovert trait. Whoa, that's crazy. This thing is dope. So you can completely change your character's beliefs. <laughs> that this game has got a lot to it. I really do love what Starfield did here. This and I think Baldur's Gate are probably my favorite when it comes to just in general, just uh just in general, uh the flavoring and how much to this game there secretly is hidden beneath the hood. You seem to have lost your train of thought. But I like that the characters... Uh, we're not gonna do that. I've changed my mind. You're talking about it has brought clarity. My job is already done. You take care. You do. That was actually pretty cool! So this is the House of Enlightenment. Is what this place is. Interesting. Am I allowed to go in here? My job's even hours. Crates, shelves, floors. It's not much, but it's no. Case food is as close to home cooking as you'll find right here. What you see is what you get. I just want to know how he's going to remove that trait, LOL, right? <laughs> That's when people's kindness shines brightest. Even down here, where the sun don't shine. Did you grow up here? No, I came here like a lot of folks, looking for work. It's an ongoing search. The ones who've been here for a while, they can't even sleep unless they got a turbine. Maybe someday I'll be the same. Any no, other just, advice? Uh, make sure you wipe your feet. Track mud in, then someone's got to sweep it out. Huh? That's Most good days, point. That's me. Good point. Stay safe. Are we allowed to go down in this place? Oh yeah, this is a cult. <laughs> I say that, but you know, not literally, but you know, the way it's portrayed, the way they built this room. I'm sorry, it was video, my video game instincts, and why is it flooded down here? My video game instincts <laughs> scream. So you have, your basement is consistent of one small coffee area. And this does also kind of look like, like, like a, a meet like a support group kind of thing too like because I as someone who's been a part of one and has helped try to run one for a while it's, it's kind of got that feel to it too but the way they painted this room with it doesn't give that feeling anymore yeah when you first come in let's let's do this let's, let's, let's observe this let's pretend that right there is not there let's pretend there's just a wall here yeah okay if you do that then it's just a run down odd place probably didn't have a lot of money and had to go for something cheaper you know like you have to in the beginning to start your group hmm. um but however 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 when you come down here and you have this where for some reason walking down the stairs is getting to a flooded basement of who knows what and that's got a locked door that leads to a room where I clearly see secrets happening. <laughs> is it a surgical procedure or is it just gonna insult you until you no longer like people, right? Uh, now I'm thinking surgical procedure. Who knows down here? With this basement? 
they're removing something from my brain. <laughs> also, yeah, oh, it's definitely psychological. Tree e plus tree equals tree. <laughs> this place. I'm going mad just being in here. Oh, this is clearly his office, right? Yeah, see, this game's definitely got Fallout. I could steal. This is all stealing if I take stuff from in here. I could become a straight criminal. The way Vosco. I like Vosco just doesn't care. So that means I wonder if we're going to have party members like in Fallout that do care if I steal. I'm not going to in this playthrough, but be interesting to know. Trade authority. You guys look heavily armed for a trade authority. Cool space suit. Oh, you're UC security. Thanks. Wow, this game has got some realism to it. Everyone just knows who I am because they have a file on me. It's real life, guys! <laughs> Zoe Kaminsky. Who you know matters as much as anything else. Welcome to the Trade Authority. If you're here on legitimate business, I would be more than happy to help you. If, however, you are here under false pretense, huh? say, sent by one Miss Tsang of UC Distribution, then I'm afraid you'll find nothing illegitimate here to report to her. <laughs> pass along my request to stop these silly games. So, what'll it be? <laughs> yes, because the trade authority's definitely not smuggling things here and there. <laughs> I'm just looking around. That's a strange way. Curses, you've blown my cover, even though I'm not. It's a strange way to introduce Perhaps, yourself. But I'm quite confident in my business. And I refuse to be intimidated. Oh yeah, you're Please, definitely a smuggler. Let me know if I can assist you further. You're definitely a smuggler. <laughs> yeah, see I'm thinking about it. Because I think the trade authority is kind of the haulers of this game. I'm going to wait before I make any decisions towards any final things like that. Because we're going to end up pissing off all the other factions when we do that. So... But so far, let's uh, let's see what they have for sale first, and then we're gonna check to see what they what they're worth, kind of what the if what's going on here. Sort of bargain, you won't find a better selection or more reasonable prices anywhere. We'll see about that. You have a lot of weapons in here. You have a shotgun. You have a modified shotgun. <laughs> I'm about to spend money, chat! <laughs> oh! I... It's an energy weapon. I can just weld somebody. This is also for repairs, I imagine, somehow. With knowing this game. What are you? Oh, you're an energy pistol. Oh, that's cool. The gun designs in this game are kind of awesome. I like they went with, like, these guns actually look like they would be real. Because if you think about a lot of it, it's like I've said this in many sci-fis. I like when a sci-fi, alien, the Aliens universe does this somewhat the best. To a certain extent, Star Trek does too. I like when a universe is smarter and goes, yeah, with the way we are as a people right now and what we would probably have to go through before any true advanced technology comes about. And I'm talking about true, true advanced, like beyond what even this is. It'd be a lot like this. Like, things would be a lot like, like, look at that lens. <laughs> now you must open that door at all costs, right? Oh, I could. I'd get shot at. We'd have to make sure we're not going to be friends with the, uh, <laughs> the Enlightenment before we do some crazy cred like that. Although I have to be careful with that, because that also might piss off UC. we got to be careful with UC, because UC is a part of the main story, and that's going to change what happens with us drastically. And I'm not trying to go pirate in this, 
when we do a certain red redheaded character, oh yeah, we're gonna be way more criminal. We're gonna be breaking into all kinds of stuff because we're gonna be working for the the red the crimson pirates or whatever the red crimsons, whatever their guys' names was from the beginning of the game. We're gonna be trying to be friendly with them. But that's cool. They got some good things. But I am definitely spending some money because, yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not not getting this. <laughs> oh, there goes all my money I had. <laughs> well, I already like what you have to say. So let's see what you say. I thought the name made it rather obvious. We are the authority. Also, they wear green. In the settled whether it's full cargo, specialty items, or individual requests. We make sure things get where they need to go. Did you hear that last part? We have shipping lanes across the settled systems and deal with nearly every major corporation and faction there is. Why are you way down here in the well? We've been in New Atlantis for a very long time, before most things topside were built. With lots of infrastructure already in place, ample storage, and discreet access to the spaceport, it makes sense to stay. Huh? It's had the unintentional, but not unwelcome, side effect of leaving out people who can be timid about doing business. Huh? So, convenient, discreet access to the spaceport from here. Weeds out the people who are timid about doing business. <laughs> what types of suits you can get? You can get all kinds of suits, but I'll, oh, you mean from her probably? You won't Let's find see. A selection or more reasonable prices anywhere. Because whatever we money we make next, I am gonna see what suit we're gonna go with. So that's ours. Space trucker suit. We're buying this. It's terrible physically damage wise. It's a really good energy suit. So here's the thing. Okay. So we're not going to get a lot. Okay. I probably can't get enough for my pirate suit, huh? Am I going to get 756 out of that? Like, really? I did. Okay. So we're going to sell our pirate suit because our pirate suit's our energy suit. We're definitely buying the trucker suit when we get the money. We almost have it. If only I had money to get it. I need to keep the helmet though, because we don't have a helmet. We'd have to buy a helmet too. About all you, y'all know the apparel's not worth anything. Um. Uh. Is AIDS worth any money? No. They're not. Wait, what was that? Oh, med packs are worth quite a lot, but I need those. <laughs> takes a chance. Sells so like. 10 out of the 18 med packs he has to try to get the money. It's not enough, though. <laughs> What's in here? Oh, my digis. My digis. Damn it. I don't have enough yet. Yeah, okay. I guarantee you, since we went long hauler, since Jared's a long hauler, basically a space trucker already, this is more basically what I would try to be at that point, because that sounds really amazing. We're dipping into that. Most likely it's going to be Trade Authority. I'm not going to click that other one for now. The Trade Authority appreciates your visit. That's probably who we're going to work for. <laughs> Space Trucker suit for the win. What is this? Uh, sir, what are you? Who are you? Don't mind me. Just a weary man resting his feet. Uh-huh. It's a quaint shop, isn't it? I like it here. Uh, okay, what did they do here? Oh, Henrik is an old friend of mine. I help out around here from time to time. But I don't just loiter around. I'm involved in my own business endeavor as well. Oh, okay. I, uh, okay, I don't even know what his business is. And my guy's like, I'd like to do business with you. I'm gonna just ask that. Maybe a little, but that's not such a bad thing, is it? Better than all the noise and attention topside, if you 
as me. I, love, I do love my guy's gung ho ness, though. We're not gonna ask that. Stay out of trouble. You too, sir. <laughs> oh, I tried to unlock that accidentally. Uh, that looks like a modifying table. I need one of those on my ship. Vasco, would you? I help out Henry from time to Vasco, time. stop standing so close. But that's fine. Freak me out, bud. Don't worry. Okay. Henrik, can't say I love that he's not but looking at me. Uh, uh, I'm surprised to find the electronic shop That's in the well. I think folks down here are too poor to afford electronics. Not the first time I heard that line. Yeah, I get that kind of attitude far too often. You find yourself with any more commentary, feel free to keep it to yourself. Wow, he's very aggressive. So I didn't mean anything by it. It's fine. Just maybe give things an extra thought before you let them roll right out of your mouth. No, oh, he's very aggressive. Okay. Yep, you got it. I can buy it back then. So what do you have? Oh, 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 you, oh, oh, you're the, uh, you're my digipick guy, and you're also my... Yeah, you're also my component guy. Yeah. I love how real everything looks. Even on this setting of resolution, now getting it proper where it needs to be, everything looks really good. Like, I mean good. <laughs> for even this resolution, this is not even proper 4K, to be fair. That's a pen. That's a square pen. Why would it be square? That seems very, very, very uncomfortable. It's the reason why they're circular. <laughs> Positron battery. Wow. Wait, ship repair fundamentals. Okay, I kind of want to buy that just for the lore reasons, because that makes sense for me. I'm going to buy that, because we need to have that. That would make sense for a guy like me to have that. This is just a tablet. This is how you write things in. This is those recorder things. There's no point in me having that. It doesn't, it's not a component in anything. It's just there for decoration. A Tau grade rheostat. Out of all the names we could have chosen, huh? Tau grade, huh? Square helps you stop it rolling off the desk. <laughs> you know what? All right, I'll get that. I get that. That makes sense. That, if that's what it's for, then you, you know what? Good on them. <laughs> I get, you know what? That's probably what it is. On a ship, right? Now, now having that in your office, kind of pointless. Like, if you're planet side... And you don't leave the planet with that pen. Kind of pointless. But I could see that being really good for a spaceship dri driver. Less an office on his ship. Because now when the, when he has to turn. It doesn't roll off. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. But either way. <laughs> that's great though. I love that. It's totally why they did it. I, a super cool magnet. So he's. He's our component boy. Nope. No question. Business has been slow lately. Not too worried, though. Managed to make ends meet for a good long while. Don't expect that to change now. All right. Stay safe out there. So uh, he helps him. So I'm assuming, okay, so to help him, if I wanted to work for him, I have to talk to you, it's I assume. It's a great shop, isn't it? I like it here. That's why he helps him. He probably secures parts for him. I can tell you that right now. Alright. What else have we not looked at? We're kind of... I I should have went in a proper circle so I can tell where I started. Let's go back over this way. Like, where does this go? What 
is this? Is this a Disney? I don't think we're supposed to be in here, Vasco. <laughs> Hold on, let me shut the door. This looks like the computer room. Ah, it very much is. This must be the mainframe. Vasco's looking at this like, are we, uh, are we hacking something? No, I don't have a computer to do that. I don't have the build for that. That would be a different character. But if we were Malix, yes. Anyways. But we're not. We're a space trucker. Vasco, get out of here. I'm shutting you in there. I'm blaming you. <laughs> oh, this place is actually quite large. Another one there. Do you love they just leave those doors unlocked? Oh, okay, these can be opened. Let's still be stealing, right? Yeah. That's not stealing? I guess trash doesn't matter. It's but yet the skin cream bottle matters. What? I guess it's stuff that's be universally thought of. But taking this cred stick isn't stealing. Well, if it's not, I... It didn't say it was stealing, Vasco. It did. Vasco? Is it Vasco or Vasco? I don't know what to call you. You say Vasco. I think Voss is VOS, but I could be wrong. What is that noise? This is a cool place. Box. I don't know where to go. I'm getting kind of turned around in this place. I heard some Xeno Predators can mimic other animals. Oh, God. This game loves using that word. Stop trying to scare me. Won't work. Ah, oh, food place. Always okay, man, Mason. You stop in whenever you do like. Do you know why this place has stood for so long? I make sure everyone's comfy. I tell it like it is. I'm back. What's up, Farsia? What's happening? Where did you go, Farsia? We didn't know what was going on without you here. <laughs> No, let's see. Square helps you... What? Oh, Square helps you stop it from rolling off the desk. That's what I already read. I thought I already... I missed see, something. See, her pen is normal. And don't be a stranger. Folks gotta look out for you. It's nice to see a fresh face around here. You stop in whenever you like. Whoa. That actually looks kind of good for a pixelated body. Don't do that, game. I'm hungry. Everyone's what are you eating? So long as you keep your hands to yourself. Understand? All right. Don't cause trouble in here. You must be the bouncer. Patty, your patty melt looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. I mean your sandwich, by the way. <laughs> that didn't help either, did it? <laughs> That's great. Oh, this is, this is a random dude. Hi, how you doing? He's looking at me like, who the hell are you? <laughs> I love walking up on random NPCs and they just look at you, not sure. Oh, also, can I talk to you? I can. Uh, oh, makes sense. So you're the daughter and the bouncer. What's the story on this place? Mom. She had one rule. There's no longer a point of using expendable anti-tank and hell diver suit. They just added a laser-powered missile launcher with infinite ammo that that two shots hold. Extra credits to stay afloat. Didn't mean for this to turn into a business, but here we are. 
If folks are willing to pay a little to have some place to feel safe and get a decent meal. Oh, I, I feel like that's a bit OP, but that'll be interesting to try it out. Although that must have been what you were doing. You're like, hold on, I need to try out this laser guided missile first. Alrighty. What can I get you? So yeah, it's all food, so it's all gonna give me health. I'm not gonna buy anything right now, but yes. More boom 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 pop cola. This one's just the cola flavor. We have the strawberry one on board. Drink back, just orange juice. I this literally the old So note to self. In the future, we're gonna bring back these sippy things <laughs> that look like cigarette card <laughs> Uh, containers that we used to drink out of when we were kids. I remember these too. Those little, I forget what you call them. <laughs> and then this is, these are just literally just packs of water. Fried pickles! Game, you're making me get dang hungry. Mmm, nom 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 nom. <laughs> Pale ale. There's that patty melt. Pigoras, ooh, those are potato and cheese, right? Yeah. Parboiled and fried. Mm. Ramen mini bites. It's a triangle. One ramen nouveau classic mint flavor. The shepherd's pie. Someone took a bite out of it for you. Sparkling water. Oh, it's falafel. I wasn't sure when it was. I knew it was a pita, but I wasn't sure what that meant. Would it be with, uh, so... Two falafel flatbreads. Then the drizzles with some yogurt sauce. Coffee. Espresso. Toast. Literally just toast. <laughs> oh, black tea. Lemon tea. Veggie grinder. Game's really got a lot of stuff to it for a big just none of that was necessary, but it's amazing. I love when games do that. None of that was necessary. <laughs> oh gee, they have a shepherd's pie, I know. And see it has it has to change the laser before shooting. So that's that's not infinite ammo then, but okay. Still don't have don't, still don't have the game. I watched someone who has it in combat against the bots. So you mean Darius? Boo! Democracy needs you, Fazia. Like and I don't take any shit. Uh, the the damn kings also. Dang! Okay, I just heard what you just said in the back of my brain. <laughs> I'm just kind of looking at this boy. Is that Vasco? What I tell you about standing in my way? Mo Vasco. Mo. This must be where they live. <laughs> I love how I'm just going into these people's apartments. Classic video game. I'm not allowed to steal, but I'm. Totally allowed to trespass in their bathrooms, their bedrooms, their kitchens, everything else. <laughs> oh, this is locked though. What you got? What you got in here? Can't really see. Something stand on. Can't tell what's in that box. Looks like food, really, to be fair, but. It's probably just a storage area. Exit. Okay. What else have we got to do? That takes us back to the elevator. That was the trade authority. Ah, uh, you see, security office. We haven't gone in here yet. The place where I'm most likely to get arrested for trespassing. 
Uh, hold on. I don't like. To, I don't feel safe back here. Something I can help? What I wouldn't give to be stationed in the embassy district. Okay. Where's your chief? Is it not someone in the dark too? That door won't open. Interesting. So that must be story related. Uh Yeah, see now I feel like I'm definitely taking some risks. Well these are safes. Part of me does wish we went genera, cause then I just wanna try to break into everything. What is this? Don't mind the random rookie, random guy who you have no idea who he is. Open it up, everything. Don't shoot me. Wait, we're back out here, but we're on second floor. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, I am. I didn't know you could come up here. Nice place. Let's go. Get out of my way. This game. Oh, it's a shortcut. Oh, that's cool. That was a shortcut. That's why we didn't get blap blapped. That was weird though. That's a weird place for a shortcut. Just saying. So all these are shortcuts then. See if it's okay for me to open that. This just leads to this side. I guess they do that when there's a riot going on. That's what I'm assuming. Oh, wait, hold on. More lockers. There might be free credit sticks in here. The game is totally lets me do. Okay, that's stealing. Good, okay. Yep, right there. You see that? Oh, nope, that's stealing. Never mind. Not gonna do that. Why was the other ones not stealing? The one in that other apartment wasn't. That was weird. Was it because I couldn't be seen? But then again, everything else said stealing. When I looked at it. bathroom. Anyone in here? <laughs> what? I'm picking that up. Did I just find a key? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that to the safes? Ha ha! Ha ha! I can't, I'm not gonna do that. I'll save that. We, we can open up one of those and steal out of it. What? Wow! I'm not even trying to be a pirate. The game's finding me pirate things to do. Stop it. We're not playing Gennaro. We're not a pirate. You know, secretly I'm a pirate. No, no. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Game's trying to get me to steal. It's like, you know you want it. I'm like, no, I don't, because I'll get shot. Okay, I can't open this with that. Just those safes. Still don't want to see. Charge the laser, I mean charge. Do it! Think of the trucker safe! Oh, dang you. Dang you. Do I? Alright, we're gonna make a save. Hold on. Let's make a save. Let's make a save. We're gonna take some chances now. <laughs> Did I make a save? <laughs> All right, all right. Might as well take a chance. No one's really looking either. 
I'm gonna seal. Can I seal this door from this side? No. So hold on. Can I pull the switch and get out in time? Damn it. Apparently not. Hey, there we go. He's not really looking. Let's uh. <laughs> Did you just see Vasco? He's gonna come around and jump up there, isn't he? Okay, so I don't want to get seen by that guy. So, which safe, chat? Out of these three, which safe? Unless you want me to take chances and go for the far safe. Chat decides what, which one we try to go for. The wagon is called Quasar Cannon that, that fires a concentrated bolt of energy that packs more punch than a recoil rifle. That sounds fun. Foss, your choice? Yes, it's your choice, Foss, here. And I assume you're watching Darius play this, since he's really the only one I know you know that technically has it right now. Duh. Which is good, because he needs to remember that once the democracy hits, we need to be full force. Tim King says, Fossier's choice. All right, Fossier. One, two, three, or four. Crowd draw at night reduces detection. Uh, it also pulls my gun out. Hold on a second. That's because of DSX. Can't stop that, sadly. It's just not a perfect world with it. All right, I'm crouched. All right, one, two, so from two, so this one. Okay. Ah, I wasn't, well, it's almost, is that enough plus the helmet? Don't know. If I sell my normal suit, it might be, but I can't. I need it for physical protection. Okay, we got it. We can open up all of them? Uh-oh. Never mind, we're definitely gonna have enough, chat. We're definitely gonna have enough. Let's do the hardest one first. Ah, damn it. Oh, we definitely have enough now. But is this considered contraband, though? Is the question. Is there a way to see? New items. That's a good way to look at it. Ooh, yes, they are. They're considered stolen. So if I get scanned again, so we need to sell this. We do not need to keep this on us. We cannot keep this on us. We have to go sell this. So let's stand back up. We can't go in that way. We're going to have to go around. So we're going to go this way. Gonna jump off. We're gonna go... Where is that lady? Where's trade authority? I need someone who's a bit more... Here it is. I need someone who's a bit more conspicuous. <laughs> Plus we're gonna be buying the suit here anyways. The trade authority has access to goods and services no one else does. Of course, of course. No, we're just gonna sell it all. That way, I don't lose any weirdness. We just gotta find out. We're gonna have to look through our stuff and find out where it all is. So miscellaneous. What is this? Is this something I stole? <laughs> what is this? Samson's art it's in a briefcase. Oh, hold on to that. That might be a story quest. That's pretty specific. It's worth quite a lot, too. Let me go all the way to the bottom, I see. Where'd all 
all that stuff go? Ships of the line, uh, ship to the line cereal. I don't see the steel. I don't see stolen icons anymore, though. Where did it all go? The hell? I guess we keep it then. That's a bit confusing. We're not going to question it. Oh, wait, I was in the wrong section, wasn't I? I'm an idiot. Sometimes I forget certain things and my brain goes... Beep. Now we can see them. Yep, we're going to sell these. Uh, as much as I want to keep these, I, my ship will get scanned when we leave, so we'll just sell them here. Helmets. Oh, it's two helmets. Nice. Um, I gotta find. I gotta go through and find all the stolen stuff. We did. Okay. So I, I don't see anything else that I need to sell her then. So that was something I can buy, that art. I wonder what that was. You can't sell so stolen stuff uh, unless on Neon. Never mind, I just... I just went to the wrong store. <laughs> you, you heard how she talks. She takes illegal goods. <laughs> she takes the shady stuff. This is why we're going to work for the train authority. Because we're going to be a space trucker for them. Carrying above board... Extremely above board goods. Extremely. But, now we got to buy of our course, space trucker course. suit. Hopefully I was enough. It was, yes! <laughs> you need anything else? You know where to find us. Yes! <laughs> space trucker! <laughs> We're putting it on. I know it's not as good at physical uh, resistance, so bullets are going to suck. And this protects me from environmental damage. Wow, better than my other one, other than airborne. But yeah, we're a space trucker. we got to be a space trucker. It's, it's, it's the only way. Does she have any space trucker apparel? It's cliche, but it's true. Everything has to be. Of course, of course. GG for Han Solo. That's what we're doing. That's essentially what we're becoming. We're going full Han up in this stage. <laughs> they don't have any apparel. Sad face. I have pretty good apparel for what looks like a space trucker anyway, so. Good stuff. Pleasure dealing with you. Pleasure, madam. Your watch beats faster as your suit runs out of protection. Oh, does it? Do I waste it? If it's wasted, I'll probably take it off for now. Actually, that's probably a good good call. Now that we have our suit for, for business, let's actually put on... Uh, what have we got? This one looks the coolest. Let's put this on for our, our uh, apparel. That looks more like what we're going for. You know what? I'm going to sell the rest of my apparel. Just because we don't need a lot of that lab stuff. We're gonna. We're now starting to focus in on what we're if probably going to be. Of course. Of course. Are not the bots are harder again after the update? Good. They did need a little love. That's good to hear though. So, yeah, let's sell all this stuff. We don't need any. I'll keep my nightwear, because I need to sleep in something. <laughs> Pleasure dealing with you. Alright. 
the trade authority. Okay. So that's basically our job of the hut. Is who she is. She's our criminal organization trader. I think I've looked at pretty much everything down here. I think. Let's check this way. I don't know what's down here. Oh, no, I haven't. There's an infirmary down here. I've got limited resources. I try not to turn anyone away just because they like my pets. We're doing the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. I need help, Doc. All right, let's have a look. Good Lord. How'd you even make it in here? What? Am I hurt? No way, yeah. Don't worry. I'm good with stitches. Ah! You may not even see a scar. Nice. All right. You should be fine now. All right. I could use some medical supplies. So I can buy medical from her. Nice. You run this place all by yourself? Don't have much of a choice. Can't afford to pay staff, and well, I've got a few volunteers from the community. I can only ask so much for them. We've scraped by for a good long while now, and we'll continue to do so. Don't you worry. Strange place for a medical clinic. Funny story about that. You know, when people first arrived on Jemison, they dismantled the colony ship and used the parts to establish a place to live. Over time, they built out, and up, and up, and after long enough, they started to forget about the people and the things still down here. The walls and the ceiling have changed, but this place still uses equipment from that old ship. And it's here because not everyone in New Atlantis can afford Reliance Medical. By the way, the grounded game from Xbox is coming to the PS5 next month. Yes, okay, we'll play that on PlayStation, because I'll give James something to play on his PS5, because he needs to play his PS5. It's just sitting there. But like, you just need, at this point, I, I made it, I, I need to make a joke to him. I'm going to start ragging him on a little bit and be like, sir, at this point, you just need to send me your PS5. You're not, you're not going to use it. <laughs> nah, I'm just, but... But still, that that being said, yeah, I, I do want to have give, have some more stuff to go back to console and do. I, the irony is, I've gotten so comfortable with my PC now; it's gonna be really weird. It is actually, and it's gonna be weird to have my face cam back because I don't have a camera for PC yet. Something else I'll do when I upgrade my rig: I'll go ahead and buy a, another camera to I can use for OBS that won't stress it out. Um. So, I'll have to do that. And I have to find one that's compatible with it. Uh, but I'll be weird to have face cam back after all this time again. I'll have a haircut before then. Y'all won't get to see the bushy crazy man that I've become. <laughs> oh, man. But I will, I will be back in full swing when it happens. It just will be strange. It's a strange feeling to be back in that at that point. Alright, nice. Oh yeah, this place is messy. This is definitely a, t a place where you know she has to do this all mostly on her own. God, surgeries must be a pain in the butt. Oh, hi. I like how she ran back here like I was going to take something. Maybe the AI is reacting to me being back here a little bit. Pharmaceutical lab. Oh, this is how I make medical. So I can come here and make my own medical supplies if I know how. That's cool. Now, for us, that's not a, probably a thing we're going to worry about, but that's cool. That's probably why I, I feel like I want to do jobs for the electronics guy because I can access his little modifying bench in the back. This place is actually really big. There's like doors everywhere. Places that lead everywhere. What is this place? Oh, hi. Anyone up here? Does anyone come up here? I'm gonna go seal the door. I'm now the itch can't be stopped. <laughs> the video game. 
The video game instincts are becoming too powerful. All right, we're gonna try it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this odd not breaks into the facilities. Let's try that. No. I have to look at them and try to guess what I need for each level. No. It's not that one. I gotta find one that leaves the perfect amount. That doesn't work either. Because that leaves one too many. So it is definitely one of these. I just gotta figure out which one it is. You can't line up with any but this. You kinda are there. Okay, you can line up with that. There it is. So you have to find the most awkward one. I've learned the trick to this now. Like, you want to find the most awkward looking setup in order for you to get it properly. Actually, it's still my. I think the second layer might be wrong. So, over here, it's probably. Well, maybe it's not. See, now this one's just making me a liar. I'm, a dece I'm being deceived pretty hard by this one. Hmm. So let's see if I can get to the second layer without doing that awkward one. Without doing this one. So you, can you fit in any of these? You fit there. That gets you done. There it is. That's what I thought. Okay. I used the wrong one first. What did I just hear? Did someone just hear? See me do this? It took so long it would I wouldn't know. Oh my god. Too bad it's stolen! I wonder if there's a way to remove the stolen factor from something. That's a stronger shotgun than even one I am. Each consecutive hit deals more damage. Ah, we'll sell it for money. All of this is good money. Oh, I don't need that. Sorry about that, chat. Alright, take it all. Okay, no, they didn't see me. They didn't know. Okay. Nobody puts PS5 in the corner. Missiles are one hit killing hell divers left and right center and has and those hated rocket devastators are coming in hordes. Nice. It sounds good. That sounds fun. The more pain that game causes, I think the better it is to be fair. Oh, you're an elevator, too. Oh, whoa. What is that kicking me? Hold on. I didn't want to go up there. I don't know where I'm going. Remember the crouch. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Oh, uh, what the... Oh, mass tram station. I see. I'm not going to go through all this city. It's huge, by the way. Another day? Oh, hi. I wonder if I'll miss Miravante sometime in my leave. No, uh, probably not. Anything you recommend doing in New Atlantis? Well, that depends. Are you a foodie or a shopper? Foodie. If that's the case, you have a lot of options here in New Atlantis. Dawn's Roost is probably the fanciest. We have great stuff. 
takes that. But I'll be honest, I'm more of a chunks girl. <laughs> My boyfriend and I can't get enough of Terra Brew. How's it going? Oh, hi there. I'm doing great. How about you? Oh, I should have said that first. Same here. I'm doing terribly. <laughs> I've been struggling to find the meaning in life. <laughs> I've been struggling to find a meaning in life. I'm gonna answer this. Mm, all been there, I think. Maybe you just need to find a goal to strive for. I've been trying to save up enough money so that I can go explore the settled systems with my boyfriend, Tony. I think we're finally getting close. Ah. That's good. No offense, but you look a little bit tired. <laughs> You want to leave New Orleans? Why? Tony and I want to see what else is out there. I love my job, but there has to be more to life than just being a janitor in New Atlantis. What about you? I see Have where you you're leaving. Adventures? Enough for a lifetime. Amazing. I'm so jealous. One day you'll have to tell me and Tony all about them, okay? Agreed. If I ever see you again, I don't even know who you are. I don't know why the game let me go this deep of a conversation with a random stranger. I'm just quite baffled by this still. Really? Well, I guess you're right. I'm feeling a bit run down. I really love my job, but it's hard work and long hours. I could definitely use a Terracino from Terrabrew right now. I, am I? Am I? Is there? What? No. Game, are you? Is there a thing in this game I don't know you're allowing me to do? <laughs> I could get you one, it's no trouble. I get you one, but I'm busy at the moment. Really? That's so sweet. I really appreciate it. I do have money I can sell and buy it with stolen funds. Deliver a Terra Brew cappuccino to Donna Rain. Alright. <laughs> right, don't be a stranger. I'll bring your cappuccino back. I alright. <laughs> Another, oh my God! The the elevators in this place, Vasco, they're everywhere. Every day. It yep. dropped a bit of forty to thirty frames now, but we're okay. The water. Is oh, that's because we're outside. Crazy. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Oh, we discovered a whole new district. So that's a little bit more choppy in here, but it's still running really well for that fact. Alright, this is going to be a bit overwhelming uh, size-wise. We're going to come back. Oh my god. <laughs> now I see why my computer hates me for this game. But I'm glad I was able to find some sort of medium ground with it. Alright, let's go get a cappuccino for, Don cappuccino for Donna. Such a random game. I love it. Get in here, Vasco. To the well. Neon is a cyberpunk sh oh, and that will test your wallet hiding abilities. Oh, nice. Good to know. Did you see the guy on the news that got a Neuralink installed? He, he said first thing he does was spent all night playing Civvy 6. What? That sounds fake, but although I really hope it's not. It's gotta be real, right? But that's the first thing- No, what? I think what makes that sound unreal is so the first thing he did with a neural chip was, I'm gonna play some Civ 6. Help. Help me. Help me now. <laughs> this is what we're doing. <laughs> He, uh, he can control the game with his mind. He was also... What? Okay, that's more fun. Mario Kart I like better. Better choice. Civ 6 is good. I'd play that eventually. But that seems like a weird game to play with your mind and be more impressed by it. You'll be less impressed by it. Because you're like, eh, that's... It's not far-fetched that my brain can tell the mouse to click this or click that or da-da-da-da-da. But to drive a cart in Mario Kart with your brain... If this is a real thing, 
Yes and holy crap. Because that means we just took a step that I don't think we're... Not, that's going to be severely... Huh? Let's talk to the scientist by the tree. I'm getting all kinds of missions. I'm not even doing anything. Also, you look like uh, someone I know from another universe. No, I'm not Carl. Sorry. I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Carl. You're just not the Carl I was waiting for. Hmm. We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. People have been reporting brownouts for a while. And Mass finally decided to follow up on it. I can't be in two places at once. And Carl isn't here. So I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. I'm just getting my hand in all kinds of things now, huh? I don't know if I could actually do that. What exactly are you investigating? I'm trying to isolate a power drain, which looks like it's the result of a large amount of power being rerouted through various subsystems. But it's kind of a two-person job. Someone needs to find the junction boxes associated with those subsystems and power them down. The other person needs to monitor the system remotely. It's pretty simple, really, and relatively safe. Only a small chance of electrocution. Wow. Who's Carl? Co-worker of mine on this assignment with me. Clearly not taking it seriously. Not really surprising. Most folks are fine with ignoring what goes on down here. I'm definitely gonna look that up. That sounds amazing, but also terrifying because I'm gonna I'm not gonna set that mission right now. I'm not going to take that mission right now, but, uh, that's also very scary, though, because I feel like that's going to get really, uh, not by the higher, like, you know, techies and people who actually are in the technology and things like that that are appreciate stuff like that, but as far as the world realizing kind of the step that means we just realized we did, I think that's going to be a bit under uh, under appreciated, because that's a huge step. That he's just using his mind to play Ma Mario Kart? I mean, literally, that is now the first step to technically what literally... It's Rick. Um... Not really. You're, I'm way taller than you, clearly. And you see that robot behind you? Yeah. But, uh, it's, that's like, damn. I didn't farce here. Uh, I'll check it out, though, yeah. AI, both tech and then neural, neural tech and all that kind of stuff, we're, we've just reached a, an apex point where I think we we're like, uh-oh, now we're at that point where things are starting to actually be kind of birthed that are like, you would go, oh, no, stop that. I don't, that doesn't happen anymore. I don't know why my calendar does that. Oh, sorry. I didn't do that. I don't know why my calendar does that. I took that off my calendar on my phone. I guess I gotta remove it on my PC. I'll have to remember that off the, after the stream. That's the first time it's ever done that, to be fair. I thought that thing had stopped chiming. Sadly, that convention doning no longer exists. It's uh, it's amazing tech. Prosthetics just got... Yeah, that's true, too. That means prosthetics are more powerful. That's good for me. Like, that means now I can create Doc Ock arms. I mean, uh, arms. What? <laughs> James, my dreams come true if you see this video. <laughs> <laughs> bye. You better be bye. I don't do small talk. Oh, well, I'm still gonna do small talk. Even though you don't do small talk, I wanna re see what you're doing here. Down here? Like that's somehow different from other bars. Wars, maybe? That's what we're implying? It is actually underground, so I wasn't wrong. What are you? Structural engineer, some mass egghead. 
I know full well what down here lies. Nice place you got here. First of all, I didn't ask what you thought of it. <laughs> Second, don't blow smoke up my ass. We both know it ain't nice. <laughs> this guy's. He does not. He, nope. He's yeah. definitely not small talk. But he loves when you take, get a drink. Let's see what drinks you got in here. Wow, okay. I, I like the random stuff that they have for food. Beer brought platter. Bourbon in a bag. Kodo's Crater. Silver and Agricultural. Dark Lager. Drink pack. In a... Oh my god! A beer drink pack! They do actually exist in real life, but it just looks weird. When it's in a small one like this. And it's in like the one you would get from school. <laughs> oh man. Ooh. Wow, basically soda, coffee, uh, like an alcohol, like a caffeinated soda, co uh, alcohol drink. Six, twelve percent. It actually says it. These, these also really look cool. Look at this can. It's designed like a keg. Only in the future would you get this crazy with your designs of drinks. Also, that must be a pain to drink out of. I just want to point, point that out. You'd have to drink it, like, <laughs> up through the hole right here. Or you'd have to tip it up and just pour, let the drink pour into the top of the keg and just sip it out. Which I'm assuming that's what it's meant to represent. <laughs> Jake Stout. Pale ale, red ale, red harvest pale ale, and another sippy. Malt whiskey in a sippy. That's strange. Solid is reserved. <laughs> well, bye. Marshmallow treats. <laughs> Oh, mission board. Okay, I can take missions from him in here. There's the power grid. There's so much to this place. Like here, what is that? Oh, it's not what I thought it. Wait, what is that? It's not what I thought it was. What's up, citizen? Oh wait, all right, citizen. What's up, citizen? <laughs> For democracy. <laughs> somewhere so there's a shortcut in the medical bay somewhere did I make a full circle hmm. wait no that's not that's not for the medical bay hold up that's not the right side that's for you isn't it you're like the cyberpunk enhancer guy, aren't you? Interesting. So your electronics and human electronics. So that was a shortcut is what that was back into that area. A lot of today's episodes probably going to be Uh, just me exploring. There's so much to this place. Let's go. This place is overwhelming as hell. What the? Oh wow! Back over here. Oh wow! So I fell. Well, might as well.
I'm back this way again. So there's the bar we went into. I think that's everything we have to offer right now. I think we've actually, except for back up in that other freaking whole other district, we've explored everything at the moment. I think we're going to go back on track towards story now, though. We need to go sell stuff. Whatever's illegal I have on me. Buy that coffee. Take it back to Transit Lady and then head to story. So I need trade authority. Oh yeah, cyborgs are definitely coming soon. Yeah, we're getting a lot closer. But you know this also... This is, this is going to be terrible of an example. And I know I keep... It, Keep accidentally bringing this up, but my brain just goes there. Also means that Japan can continue their work on certain things and will be more advanced now because now they can give it Neuralinks that will attach and understand what your brain is thinking. Ha 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 Okay. <laughs> it's happening. We're all gonna get cyberpunk. <laughs> welcome to welcome to space trucker future. <laughs> That's what I'm being if I live long enough. <laughs> I'm a space trucker. <laughs> Didn't get to do it on Earth, I'll do it in space. <laughs> the Trade Authority has access to goods and services no one else does. I bet. <laughs> more reasonable prices anywhere. I bet you have a selection that no one else has. Sell all the stolen stuff. You know what I just realized? I do need to buy some shotgun ammo. I don't have any. Oh, you need anything else? You know where to find this. Alright, now I gotta go find that coffee place again. I don't remember where I saw it. Mm -hmm. Was that upstairs back where we came from in the main area? I don't think there's a coffee place down here. In the well. I think it's only residential and hub. If I remember Grace for Terra Burr. So let's head back upstairs. Okay. Come on, Vasco. I'm leaving you behind. Oh. Get back up. Get, get in here. Alright, fine. Yeah, outside's a bit chop. That's fine. There's just so much out here. But this is the, probably the best we're gonna get it, so I'm not complaining. It's still really good. That's the viewport. Wait, I didn't go in this door, I don't think. Good to see you again. You're a bar. No, you're good. I'm just checking. Oh! Self service bounty clearance. Is that if I have a bounty? Okay, so bars are where you can pick up any mission. I gotta find that coffee place again. I'm getting lost. Yeah. There's our ship, okay. Oh, it's over there. I see it. Terra Brew. That tech could potentially make someone immortal. It could. And sadly, then, part, part of me still wonders if there might not be a somewhat deeper, deeper underlying reason for all of that. We're not going to go too heavy in that, but let's just say the Wayland mentality isn't far from realistic. So she needs it. Oh, isn't it the cappuccino? Let's double check before I do that. That would be under... Mm. 
how do I access the mission menu? I actually don't know what that is. Is it in the star map? Missions, there we go. Toggle which quest is tracked on your HUD. Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest to expand the list of the open objectives. Select any objectives in the quest to track that whole quest. You can press set course button automatically to navigate your active quests. Right, activities. Yeah, wow, we have a lot that we can do. We, By the way, we've been picking these up while we've been running around. I haven't talked to anybody for these. So just listening to conversations in the environment gets you things. This game's really in depth. So we want this one. Terra Brew Cappuccino. Oh, we're just gonna hold. Oh, God, I wish it was South doing it. Terra Brew Cappuccino. Enjoy your Terra Brew Cappuccino. Have a Terra, have a Terra Brew day. It's probably a faster way to her, but I'm just gonna go the way. That's not what I want. I'm gonna go the way I know to get to her. Robotics is going to screw this generation hard. I think of all the jobs that will be... Yeah. It's going to get that way. Well, yeah, but th there'll be new jobs created using probably Neuralinks. But it's like, oh, e. There's a... I agree with Farseer on that one. That's going to take a huge beating. That's going to be a pretty insane, like, dynamic to just hit the wall all of a sudden. It's not going to happen, like, quickly, quickly. It'll happen quicker than I think we're all anticipating, especially now that that hurdle has been jumped. Now that we've gotten past that hurdle, I do think. Uh... I do think it's going to be a bit more, uh, problematic and, like, things will start to crop up more and more and more as time goes on. Because a lot of people are kind of still feel like they just don't think this stuff really is going anywhere. It reminds me of back in the uh, 80s and earlier on when video gaming was first becoming really big. And a lot of people saw, said, kind of thought, oh, video game industry is going to die. Like, and it's only going to last for maybe a year or two. <laughs> It's like, or it'll never truly become a thing. It's too, too, too this or too that. It's not real. It's that same thing happening right now. Majority of people who aren't kind of paying attention to certain things or maybe just don't really focus in on it, they hear it in the background, may acknowledge it, but kind of pass it off as, that sounds cool, but don't really, really pay attention to what it actually means. So it's that same mentality is happening. Which is very strange. Here's your Terracino. Thank you so much. Soon I'll be coursing with bountiful energy. I'll be the most enthusiastic janitor in New Atlantis. Here, take this. I found it while I was cleaning. I figured you might find a use for it. Thanks again. Really appreciate it. No problem, Don. What you give me? Desktop ga geode sculpture. Oh, that might be worth some money. I don't know how to put stuff down, by the way, chat. I don't know. There must be a way. I just haven't figured out how to do it. To place things on the ground in certain places. Which I'm going to try to figure out to do how to do on the ship. Plus, uh, on top of trying to figure out where the ship's actual storage is. Because it has one. I just don't know how to access it. But. Right, anything else? I cleaned up a kid's vomit today. Huh? Fourth time this week. Take care of yourself. That's... <laughs> that was really awesome. I love this, the characters in this universe. Even the smaller ones. Alright, back downstairs. 
There's so many more districts we could go to, but I want to stay on course now. Now let's go see what that other side mission in the well is. Might raise the IQ worldwide, lol. <laughs> the irony in that, that actually is a benefit from that. That is true. You could technically do something like that. You really could. And just happenstance of being interacting with machines is going to have to kind of force that happenstance to begin with. So, that is correct. To be fair, in general, IQ will raise. But will it be enough to substantiate creating enough new places and jobs for humans just to move to a new place, basically, if you get my meaning? Let machines have certain places and then we become this, right? And then the even bigger problem occurs where the cyberpunk stuff is, comes later. It, it, that's going to happen no matter what at this rate, it feels like. We're going to have some sort of grip grapple and wrestling with cybernetic versus humanoid cybernetic at some point just because of this already integration first integration in our body is the neural link itself that is in its own right by definition the first of a cyberization that is a that is a piece of a cyberization is what that is so and these terms are going to become more prominent because people are going to realize, yeah, that's a thing, isn't it? It is. We used to think this stuff couldn't happen, doesn't exist, isn't real. Boy, the joke was on us, wasn't it? <laughs> and it's only going to get worse. We're going to realize that more and more and more and more as things get more and more crazy with that. Whether it be robotics or anything else at this point now. But this is the beginning of much, much, much more stuff. Hello again. Still just me. No Carl. So I'm not getting much done. Alright, let's help her out. I can assist you. Well, since you're here and Carl isn't, and I really want to get this solved, I will pick you up on that. What I need is very technical. I can talk you through it remotely. I'm gonna head to the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there. Alright, good. Alright, let's track that mission now. Tapping the grid. Locate junction box. There we go. Like I said, you see that mission it just gave me? That was from just walking hey, past a conversation. Huh? I think this is working. Yes, I, I can hear you. I have a general view of things, but you should be near the first junction box. Roger. Look for it mounted on the wall. I am. When you find it, open it up and flip the big switch. That's it? Okay. That's it. Great job. So, that trip to secondary breaker, and that goes to... Oh, wow, really? They wired it like that? Jeez, okay. Okay, got it. Next one is way down past Jinx. And maybe up a story or two? It's a bit of a hike. Sorry. That's fine. I think I know where I saw that one. I'm gonna have to go up, though. So she made she she proved me wrong. There's areas I still haven't been down here apparently. That's the one. Next one's not too far. Dead end, right down from Jake's. Right under that apartment they've been trying to sell. Good luck with that, right? Hmm. I mean I'll buy it. If it means I get to live here, I'll buy it. Because it means it puts me near the trading authority. Um Okay, one second. 
I see what the last one needs to be. We need to keep you. That might be, that looks like it might be enough. So we need to try somewhere else. What about you? Is there a spot any of these are ever right there? Nope, that don't work either. Hmm, what about this one? That takes no, I can't do that either. So this one's difficult. Get rid of enough though. Does it? It does. Okay. Okay. Didn't expect that. What the? You did! Wasn't expecting a kill bot. The hell? The absolute hell just happened! What? <laughs> also, I don't have my shotgun on, on, on me. What the f- The f- <laughs> <laughs> Also gonna be a problem. That's gonna become a thing in our reality at some point too. Rogue killer dog bots. <laughs> I bet Amazon will be the first to have fully bought automated warehouses. Probably. <laughs> oh wow, look how much that desktop geode is worth. I'm gonna keep it, but it is good good money. I I have no words for how hilarious that was. <laughs> like we're talking like that was fantastic. <laughs> Actually no. Let's make the good stuff at the bottom. Start with close range, work our way to long range. <laughs> I don't really have any. Uh, I'll do. Who has more ammo? You do for now. That was absolutely hilarious. Old Jeffy Boy will have like three human staff. Uh, imagine the bra. Yeah, that's good, right? <sighs> He'll do it just because of that, right? I was like, mm, yes. Oh, it requires a key. There must be a key in here. Well, you know what time it is, Jack. This guy's dead. 
He was killed by his robot, his robot dog, so, you know. <laughs> to reach his own. Now we're just like, just gonna take what we can out of here and sell it to, what's your name? This house is now an official looting, looting realm. Oh, what the hell? What was that? Uh, inbox. What did what happened here? From Nico twenty eight. Well, let's start at the bottom. These are the oldest. From Nico twenty days ago. Are you out of your mind? Can you possibly be this stupid? You know who I bought that robot from, right? Do the words remote activation mean anything to you? Bring me my money immediately, or you will be dead in your apartment tonight. You replied. Ha 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 food Okay, that was cute, but you really need to need to come back immediately and give me my money. You are lucky that I'm willing to let you live after that. You don't pay uh you, if you don't pay me or return the robot, I will kill you and I'm not playing games, you replied. Woo you got toe food, you got toe food. Here, uh, you you are all, hello, yes sir, do you have the money? Thank you, please. And I was like, here's your money, bam, bam, bam. Now I have Bruno. What are you going to do, go to the UC? Selling, selling black market robots is illegal, idiot. Oh, wow, this guy is not too smart. You know what's funny? I do have money. I keep it uh, right next to my bed. Now that you'll ne now that you'll not that you'll ever know where that is. Bye. Oh, you are not coming to where I live. Meet me behind Orion t Tower uh, at midnight in two days. Bring all the cash with you. I cannot stress that enough. No cash, no sale. Please, please know that I have contingencies for people who decide to be idiots. Yes, yes, my man. Two days, best day of your life. Slow down. I have, I have one. It's, it's a de, it's a decommissioned unit that the ecliptic, uh, that the ecliptic were looking to get rid of. If you can pay in cash, we can make a sale. You know it's illegal to buy these things, right? You replied, Yeah, I don't care. What's security gonna do uh, when I unleash Big Bruno on them, huh? Yeah, I have the cash. Where do you live? A friend of mine told me you're looking to purchase a Model S. Is that true? I should have went from up here. Yes, man. Yes, my man. Those robots are so badass. I've got my. I, I've got to have one guard in my mansion. You know how much you're selling them for, and then we all know. So by now. And then we all, well, we know what happened next, clearly, by what's behind me. Dude thought he was the shiznit. Wow, this guy was drunk as hell. Look at this. Oh, I can't, I can't take the fully, the full ones? Okay. What is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> We're looking for his key. There's a key somewhere. Let's shut the door for now as well. He is a dead man. Let's see if it's on him. Ah, there it is. Wow, he's got a lot of stuff on him. Yeah, this is what happens when you're an idiot. Sushi rolls. Nice. Chunks egg pack. A crack in the cell. Blue collar off work duds. Hey, he looks more like a trucker. Hey, I'm taking this. Thanks. Taking your clothes, sir. <laughs> Taking your clothes. What is that? Soap dispenser. Huh. I don't believe you, Dan. <laughs> this guy lives on his own with a robot. I don't believe you. 
Alright, let's see what's in that safe. Space trucker hat? Why does it have to be stolen? Damn it, I'm stealing all of this and I'm only sell I'm not selling that hat. They can try to shoot me for that hat. They will try to kill me for that hat. I'm keeping that hat. We're not giving the hat back. That dude's dead. He doesn't need it. Alright, Vasco, get out of here. You gotta seal up the evidence. I wonder if they keep it on you or they scan me. Or if I keep it on me. I don't know. I'm not gonna put it on the ship because I don't want to risk it being scanned and seen. It's gonna be on me. Actually, can I put it on? Unless that turns out that isn't even something I can wear, then we're gonna sell it. I actually don't think we can. Right? No, we can't. Ah, it's sad. Oh, no, yeah, wait. Yes, we can. Well, it's getting equipped. <laughs> That's totally not a terrible idea, right? Oh, yes. I don't know what I like better. All right, chat. What, what do you like better? Oh, wait. This gives me carrying capacity? That's clearly a trucker outfit. Which, what do you think, chat? This one or this one? Tissue and a soap dispenser next to a TV. Hmm. And then some guy comes along and takes everything he owned. Guy had a bad day. Oh, well, he really did. So, the theory is... That's true. Japan has been doing this before. I, I missed all that that Tim King said about Japan. That's true. So, theory is, this guy got drunk, hit his robo-dog... And it fought back. Probably. Well, no, he got drunk, threatened a bunch of people he was trying to sell it to, or that he was trying to buy it from, because he, he stole it. He stole that dog. He shot the person that was picking it up, that was delivering it for the money. One of her, th that dude's goons, I guess, the guy he was talking to. But the guy told him, I can remote activate this thing, you dumb dumb, in your apartment. Dude thought that was a joke, apparently. In a future where, even in our reality, that's a thing. <laughs> maybe he was polishing his butt. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But then, Tam King's right. And then, and then after he died by being an idiot threatening the pirates that he stole from, basically, he met some random dude, me, comes along and steals everything he has... <laughs> including his trucker outfit <laughs> which is an odd thing yeah Crimson Fleet that's the name of the pirates probably bought it from the Crimson Fleet agreed but it's like and then I come along and steal all his trucker stuff that's for a different company I work for the trade authority <laughs> but alright chat which, which goes better with my hat this straight trucker like just vest or Jack, uh, or do we do we look a little more fancy and futuristic, and we stick with our extractor jumpsuit to kind of look a little cooler as a trucker? This is more authentic. This is more fancy. Go full trucker, all right. <laughs> Agreed. My spacesuit is, um, we're gonna, yep, space trucker suit, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Breaking into that dumb dude's apartment was the best part of this journey. And I found it because I was, I was fixing an electrical grid, irony. Okay. Another switch flipped, another lead to follow. And the lights in here just flickered too. The 
wiring is worse than I thought. I'm going to work on fixing that little issue while you find the next junction box. Looks like it's over near the... Upstairs? Okay, I gotta go around this way up to that. She don't want to piss off. You saw how how jumpy she was when she found out the Trade Authority's circuitry is not exactly secure. Okay, the final box I need you to deal with should be right around there. I can't get to this. Unfortunately, huh? I just realized you're in for a real thing on Gable. Like 200 years of filling them to rewire things. I tried to fix it three years back. I can't even get in there. Oh, okay. I don't remember the order. But oh. levers until all those circuits are powered down. Wow, all right. <laughs> That's unprofessional. Oh, it's up there, I assume. Well, how do I know they're both offline? Oh, crap, hold on. Okay. Let's turn them all back on for a second so I can see what it looks like. So all of these have to be on. Yeah, okay. So... Did that work? No. There we go. that. I know it's not necessary, but my, my realism brain's going, yeah, it's not a good idea to leave this open. I'll close all the doors back. Vasco, get out of here. Must be somewhat professional. Pretty sure I saw the guy with Digipigs had a comp for sale. Really? Okay. Good to know. I'm just gonna jump down. It's faster. What was that? Is all that guy running? Oh, but she's up there now. How do I get up there? Ah, I assume. No, what? I don't want to get upstairs at that. Right here. Yep. Oh, this is your room. Oh, uh, hmm. I might have taken your stuff. <laughs> Did I say thank you? Because thank you. There's no way I could have done that in a reasonable amount of time all by myself. As long as the money's good, I'll do what needs to be done. Instead, we both get. Instead, we both got to waste our time. I wonder if we just made. No. Happy to help. Well, not everyone would be, and I appreciate it. Thanks to your help. I was able to trace the power tree. I know where it's coming from. Unfortunately, the source is exactly where I was afraid it was. The tree to party. So, that's something that I'll need to deal with. That'll be 
fun. Mm. If you want to tag along, I certainly wouldn't complain. But if not, then this is where we part ways. Wow, 2,000 credits. Level 3, yes! Okay. So now there's another mission for that, but we're gonna go back towards main mission a little bit, because I do want to see what main mission's got to offer. Um, what is this? Commerce. Buy for... We need this. Because now that we've kind of embraced what we're going to be, being a space trucker, this is going to be very much more important to us. Commerce is going to be very important to us. So I have another mission with her if I want to go do that now, but I will wait on that. Actually, you know, do I want to pursue that? Yeah, because we're already what? Oh god, it's already 743. So yeah, let's uh Let's go ahead and pursue this, I guess. Although would this turn me on the trade authority though? Yeah, I know. I've got you back. That means a lot. I'm pretty sure I won't I piss off. So, why? Some people just run. <laughs> they ain't in a hurry. Well, anything. She'd be like, we looking for a thief. Bar steward robbed me out of the way. <laughs> sir, slow down. Sir, 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 sir. It's not that serious. <laughs> I don't understand why some of the NPCs are running now. I don't know if that's a bug or if they're just in a hurry, actually, in, in the game's universe. <laughs> that was great. Let's, uh... Mock the mission. Make sure it's mocked. So much stuff that we can do space-wise. This game's gonna be a long game, yeah. There's just certain people running now. I wonder if that's a bug from the dog. You know what that might be? It might be a bug from the dog triggering a combat zone, and now any random walking NPC has glitched out, kinda, and now just running for the exit to keep from getting shot at. The ones that are not stationary. Stationary. Can't talk. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I think tomorrow is therapy. Today's Thursday, right? Tomorrow's therapy. Yep. Visit from last. How delightful. You'll have to remind me. Never a good sign. Okay. Stay here. Louise, stand by. Louise, uh, stand behind me. <laughs> I work for this company. It's pretty rough. Is that the CEO in there? Uh, 
Oh, yeah, you're doing. Okay, just be ready for anything. I don't know if she's going to come out of there with a gun or go in mercenaries or what. I don't want this to turn out violent if we can avoid it, okay? Oh, don't worry, I'll keep it. I, I, I trust me. I have to. I have an investment in this company too, so I have, I'll keep it peaceful. We, we don't. Not, neither of us benefit from electrical problems. Because I guarantee you, this actually probably isn't them. Because it doesn't make any sense that they would do that. Because it would draw too much attention. So this is probably something else. Just now she's even going. We actually really do have an electrical problem. One second, because. <laughs> Their engineers probably should have caught that, and now she's very mad. <laughs> uh, I won't fire the first shot, but I'll fire the last one. <laughs> Let's assume things are gonna get rough. Just relax; everything's gonna be fine. Just need to breathe. Well, Miss Reyes, I apologize for not taking this matter more seriously. I assure you, I will eagerly assist in getting to the bottom of this. No, you're not weaseling out of this. We got to the bottom of it. You are the bottom. I appreciate your enthusiasm for your work, but I do a little more research before casting aspersions. Someone has indeed been using this location through which to route electrical power. It is not the Trade Authority. I've had my suspicions for a while, and have been keeping detailed notes, which I'm happy to share with you. For now, though, what do we do next? I... wait, what? Oh, for heaven's sake. I presume you've been assisting Miss Reyes in tracking down this little problem. Yes, ma'am! Well, clearly there's more work to be done. Why don't you continue the work you've been doing with an assurance that the Trade Authority will compensate you for your time? Yes, ma'am! <laughs> I'll coordinate things here with Miss Reyes. With Mask's access to the grid, we'll find out who did this soon enough. And why. Yes, ma'am. Good low key green choice, by the way. one who's been doing the field work, so... I believe you'll find there's another junction box out there in the well that gets your attention. Ah, okay. Yes, ma'am. This is not how I saw this going. <laughs> moment, let's assume this is all legitimate. I can sort out the details with Zoe. So why don't you go investigate the next junction box? Roger, Roger. The sooner you find the source of all this, the sooner it can be over. Okay. I think I know where it is. I think it's over here, I bet. Let's watch your pockets around. Rick, you steal something, I blap you. <laughs> I've got to get back up top. Like, way up there, yeah. Uh, got to remember how to access this again. Oh, falling off. Is it up here? i got to get to the highest of highest points to try to find that location. I don't think I can get to it from here. This is that guy's apartment. Uh, so it's on the other side somewhere. The access must be from a different point. Drive from Jake's. Jake, you got stairs? Upper level. That's, a, that's locked, though. I can't get in that. Only well apartment. Oh, that's the well apartments. Don't know if that's where we need to be. Am I supposed to be looking for the apartment key? Hmm, there's got to be another way up, then. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello. Gotta be another way up. I've gotta find it. Hmm, now I'm kinda confused. This place is a bit freaking maze like. That's what makes it annoying. It's a good map design, but it is a bit twisty turny for my liking. 
I don't like maps that get, get a little too over convoluted in the directions you can go. Especially verticality, or yeah, verticality wise, it can be a little over overbounding a little bit because now I'm just spending all my time looking for stairs to a place I don't know how to get to. This is just to her office, right? Shit. My bad, my, the bad assumption in my gut says that apartment key place is where it is, but. Hmm. We've gotta get up there somehow. Somehow, somehow, somehow. Also locked. What is that? Hold on. Can we go this way? I saw this from down there. This might be it. We can cheese and jump over there if we need to. Aha! We found it. Okay. I've also never been up here. What's this? Spacesuit workbench. What? Oh, wow. This place has a lot of hidden gems in it. This place is so detailed on how you find your way around this facility. Again, this is just one little small area. I can only imagine. And by, by the way, there's multiple planets in this game. For anyone who doesn't know. Roger. Zoe's here too. He had a guest. <laughs> we to work together on this. Once you throw the switch, we can direct you to the next junction box. Okay, good. Huh. I love how I had to jump over here. That's it, thanks. Let's just take a look here. Okay. You're going to the one they had for box 45A. It should be near Apex Electronics. I don't so, trust you. I know how to read. Ignore her. Head for box 45A, okay? How do I know what box is which? Hold on, I'm jumping down. That fall could have compromised your health. It's fine, it didn't hurt that bad. Which box did she say it was over here? It's not marked anymore because I already made the decision. I didn't realize walking towards it was going to do that. Shit, where's the other box she was talking about? Which one was it? It's down here. I don't remember which box she wanted. Well, that's fantastic. Let's go back to the other one then. I don't think uh, Zoe's right, but all right. Zoe may be a good business entrepreneur of the deadly kind, but she is not, by any means, not an electrician. I was going to listen to uh, What's-Her-Name Only, but no, I didn't mean to do that. I will just do the wrong thing and get her. She'll get mad at me slightly. It's a trap, Ardna. She has dirt on you. She can expose your contraband and have UC run your pockets. That's true. But maybe I should listen to Zoe then. <laughs> Adequately done. Miss Reyes and I have both noted that the next note in this trace is not any of the kind of diagrams. Oh. She
Roger, I'll head topside. Alright, Realm of Thrones is not the best Game of Thrones mod for Lord anymore. War of the Iron Throne, a Dance of Dragons, beats it in quality now. Oh no, she has dirt on you. She can expose your contraband and have you see run pockets. It's a trap! I think your scanner shows you the path. But I could be wrong. I forgot what button activates my scanner. What button activates the scanner again? Oh. That would be it right there. And it does show me the path. I'm an idiot. Oh well. <laughs> it doesn't matter now. It was fun exploring, though. To be fair, I found a lot. I wouldn't have found half the stuff I found if I wasn't if I was using that. No, no. The hell? Somebody freaked out and started screaming as the door shut. Must have been caught in the door. Miss Reyes is still collecting the necessary diagrams and blueprints to accurately assess the situation before she returns. I'm going to make you an offer. Oh. Oh, we have to head the residential. How the hell do I get to that? I don't know how to do that. Now I do need you. But why is it not? Do I have to look at it? Or is that the path to my objective? I guess we'll find out in a minute. This can't be right. I, this is taking me back to the ship, right? Is it mark the ship? Yeah, this is trying to take me to the ship. That's not what we want. So we need to head to the residential district. That's you. How do I mark that? I want... What? It's not guiding me to it. So that technically isn't accurate then. That means the scanner technically doesn't take you to the objective properly. I mean, unless it's... Is it not marked anymore? Let's check that to make sure. Uh, it's, it's definitely tracked. So it doesn't technically do that. It takes you to the thing that's marked... And, uh, as far as the icons are concerned. But unless you've discovered it, it doesn't work like that. Because I can look at this, but it's not, it's not taking the arrows. But, you can see how it's, like, marking these two. And now it's giving me a path to that, because I've marked that. Yeah, I, that definitely isn't what we want. How do we get to that, though? The lodge, which is where we gotta go. I'm assuming I have to take the train. Residential district. I think your scanner shows you the path, but I could be wrong. It shows the path, I think, to the to the district that you've already uncovered, but we haven't been here yet. So it didn't know what to track. Or would have pointed me towards that train, probably. Alright, so we're looking for... There's Pioneer Tower, Reliant Medical, Apollo Tower. It's this way. So we're heading towards Apollo Tower. I wonder if this is that area we came out earlier when we were here. Hey, there's Chunks! Hold on. I want to. Like I said, I'm an explorer. I want to see what this is. This is that place she like Donna says is preferred. This is literally what this is. Please choose your chunk. That's weak scovels. A hundred to two hundred and twenty scovels is absolutely jack crud. Red cheesecake. Your chunks. Please choose your chunks. 
It's, it's such a terrible name if you think about it. I get it because they're squares. But because if you remember that, like, blowing chunks is throwing up. So it's like, when you when you have that saying in your brain, and that's what you... Chunks. Which chunks would you like today? <laughs> it's like McDonald's. Welcome to Chunks, home of the best chunks in the settled systems. What exactly are chunks? All I am legally allowed to say <laughs> is that our chunks meet all known minimum standards for nutrition. <laughs> All I'm legally. What exactly are chunks made of? I don't know. Smaller chunks? <laughs> no, I'm gonna keep asking him. All I am legally allowed oh, to right, say okay. is that our chunks meet all known minimum standards for nutrition. These Minecraft looking foods? Yeah. See, now he doesn't say anything anymore, okay. I'd like to buy some I'm chunks. Not really, I just wanna see what they are. Oh, uh, you don't see them when they're in the package, though. Mongolian beef! Wow, that's all. That's. Red cheesecake. Cheesecake. Grilled chicken. Chocolate. That you can just do now. There are cubes of chocolate. That's. This is not original. This one right here is not original. That's just strange. This right now. And it makes me wonder. Are you meant to chew these? Or are these like the, the alien kind of thing? Well, you're meant to melt these into a goo and drink it. <laughs> if that's the case, then that makes more sense that there's cola in this. But eggs. Pumpkin pie. Baked potato. Carbonate rouge. So that's wine. And then they have some sippies. They have one random, that same malt whiskey sippy. That's so weird. <laughs> but yeah, I wonder if it's actually you chew it, or if it's a melted thing, like you melt this. I assume this is the same thing. Yep. You can just buy it in here if you wanted to. Good old chunks! There's one chunk. Chunks choke Choco. That's see this is just chocolate. I'm gonna actually eat this. What do you think you're doing? I'm eating a chocolate bar. I don't care if you caught me stealing. I wasn't stealing, it was on the table open. No one ate that. That was nasty. Why would you care about that? Oh, really? What chunks can I get you? Alright. Oh my god. For eating a chunk. For eating a chunk. Ah, oh, frick! I'm gonna have to reload the autosave. They're gonna take my hat. They took my hat, didn't they? They took my hat, didn't they? They took my hat. I'm gonna have to reload! <laughs> uh, where's this at? Damn it! That's a little bit extreme, by the way. <laughs> That's some imperial rolls. Because it's like, I ate a chunk <laughs> that no one ate and left rotting on a table and was probably moldy. And I got arrested for it. Miss Reyes is still collecting the necessary diagrams right. and blueprints to accurately assess the situation. Before she returns. All right, let's listen to this again. <laughs> that was hilarious. I'll be certain that Mast gets what it needs. But I trade in valuable. I don't want I'm not losing my trucker hat for a chunk. I guarantee you the trade authority will pay well. Consider that as you head towards the residential district. We can't pinpoint the source yet, but it's somewhere over there. It's somewhere over there. Robbed all those saves and got busted for a piece of the uh, yeah for a block of chocolate. Robbed a ton of safes, got busted for a block of chocolate. If that ain't irony in my real life, if that would have been a thing, I don't know what is. Considering I love chocolate. 
<laughs> so, that is extreme irony. Like, the kind that just baffles me to a certain extent. <laughs> but we had fun. We looked around. We'll look around some more later. That was great, though. Oh, I see it. I'm not sure why she knows that. Ha <laughs> ha! Never knows what the information might be useful. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm not sure why Zoe knows that either, huh? I'll check in once you flip the switch. Alright. Well, that's unexpected. Powering down that junction doesn't show any other connections. Clearly, the source must be inside that residential tower. Yeah, that would make sense. You know, I think I remember seeing a report about power problems on one of the upper floors. I bet it's related. See if you can get up there. Roger. A serial killer got caught because of pit parking t because of a parking ticket. So it's somewhat realistic. I guess that's true. But that's a parking ticket. That's a prior injunction, right? I I ate a piece of chocolate off of a table. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like it's a bit different than already being in trouble with the law. Like, I have no prior priors. I've never been in trouble with the law. The moment I take a bite out of a piece of chocolate. And I'm allowed to break in here. I'm supposed to break in here for the story. But yet. <laughs> Not gonna question it. <laughs> Not gonna question it. No, no, no. What do I say? I'm Mickey Mouse. That was an easy one. Thank God I've learned how to break into places, right, Vasco? I didn't think I'd actually have to do it on purpose. <laughs> Someone likes terror brew in this apartment. This could be Donna's apartment. <laughs> it turns out it was Donna all along. It was the janitor. Also, there's a buttload of chunks in here. Is this Donna's apartment? Did Donna do this? <laughs> So some serious tech in this apartment. Mm. This place is littered with terror brew and chunks. What was that? Hi. I mean, we're already doing it at this point. <laughs> and yet, despite its reputation, uh, so the neon gang culture, this would be good if we were going neon gang on this. I let, leave it up there long enough for everyone to read it if you want. Don't realize they've been playing. I'm the weirdest guy ever, right? At this point, like, I'm a space trucker slash thief slash electrician? Slash possible bartender. Just haven't got to that yet. Why did you can steal the toilet paper? Don't know why you would want to do that. It's not that we're not at what was that? Okay. Unauthorized computer. Yeah, somebody in here has been up to no good. So, is it really stealing? <laughs> Star Wars program update. 
Program status paused. Current current slicing target ATM trans fee. Ah ha ha. Location New Atlantis. Slicing value zero point zero zero one credit slash transaction. That's that's cool. That's a smart way to do that, because that's so small that that probably wouldn't be noticed. But that does add up depending on how many people look at the total value, though. The, considering the size of the city and that the trans system is really the only transportation in this city at all. Yeah. Whoever this is is smart. Deliver evidence to Louis uh, uh to Luisa Reyes. Or deliver evidence to Zoe. We're gonna deliver it to Zoe. So we found the information Zoe was looking for. We don't need to crouch. We're there. No one in this apartment but us. Recent me message, Dodds Dodson. My guy's not creative with the re 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 rewiring. Rewiring. You should have all the juice you need to run the program non-stop. So stop messaging me and get to work. I expect my cut soon. And keep the damn door locked. That did well. Last thing we need is someone poking around! You mean me? Even if Gal Bank notices the missing funds, they won't have a way to trace it. They call it a malfunction and wipe the records. Like they always do. Money's all digital anyway. They can literally just make as much as they want. Alright. We have secured our info. Washer and dryer in the kitchen. Nothing else worth of value in here. No. Come out here, big guy. Let's go. Good. Back down we go. Back to the trans system. There's another CJ's. I wanna go in here real quick. What's in here? Oh, you're new. Hi. Come on in. Take a look around. Open 49 hours. Need something but don't have a lot of time? That's why I'm here. How's business? Nice and steady. Just the way I like it. I've got a good location, plenty of foot traffic, and a ton of people who are in a hurry and need to make a quick stop for the essentials. Things keep going this way. I'm going to start opening franchises all over the settled systems. Like it here in New Orleans? Are you kidding me? Nowhere else like it in the settled system. First time I came here as a kid, I knew I was going to come back and make my mark on this city. Nowhere I'd rather be. And now that I've got this place up and running, it's all coming together. All right, let's see what he has. He looks like another electronic store. No, actually, I'm wrong. He's just a food. He's a he's a convenience store. That's what he is. Okay. Nice. Have a good one. Makes sense. Open 49 hours. Has a coffee thing. Yeah, it's a convenience store. Nice. I may have to turn the crowd density down a bit. I like keeping it on high, but I don't think that's going to be doable. As much as I like having a massive crowd, I wonder if turning them down a little bit would help with making these areas a little bit more natural. Wait, I'm going into the embassy district now. Well, you can get to these places from the residential district. That's why this area is so laggy. This is four different areas. 
Oh shoot, then we're going the wrong way. I think it was the other way we were supposed to go. I had to get back to the trans system. It's probably this way. I gotta learn this place. Pretty sure trans is this way. Yep, I see it. Everything good? There's probably an elevator leading down there. To be fair, but I'm just gonna go the way we know for now. We'll explore more next episode. I don't wanna get too off the beaten path and get distracted. So back to Spaceport. A little bit of lag in that, but that's fine. Or now, how much would someone have to pay to get you into a into a Matrix Zion mech and box and box a giant spider? Hmm. Um, the, having me in a giant mech helps a little, but I'm gonna say you need to pay me at least, at least, at least 20 mil. Enough that I'll never have to worry about, well, it depends on the reality, I guess. This is based on IRL currency, like real life. 20 mil would make sure I could never have to worry about anything ever again. I flew my first starship. It was virtual. Hello. Back down into the at the trade authority. We're gonna give it to Zoe. She is our boss, technically. Like like so let's talk to Zoe. I do. Do you have something for me? I do, ma'am. I do. I need a minute to think. No. Here's what I found. I'm glad you made the right decision. I'll look this over and make sure that Mast gets just as much as they need. Not a bit more. The Trade Authority will not forget what you've done for us. Make your rewards. Alright, Louise. I trusted you. Oh, sorry. Oh my. Someone was attempting to have a make for some entertaining late night reading. Well, Miss Reyes, it's been such a pleasure having you here. I'll be sure and pass along my compliments to your superiors. I hope whatever that is, it's worthless to you. And you know, I'm so not sure you weren't behind this all along, whatever this is. That could be true. Sorry to hear you say that. I was trying to be sincere. Well, in any event, thank you for a wonderful diversion. Yeah, Reyes isn't gonna like me now, but that's fine. Like I said, we're playing to the trucker side of us. We're not gonna be sticking around this place anyways. So, not trying to impress need, too hard. No what it is, either I have it or I can get it. See, now she's starting to realize, hmm, he's a good employee. Can I go back here? Am I allowed back here? Who's in this office? Oh, there's no one in this office. This is her office. She came in here to contact somebody so we didn't have to hear what they were saying. Oh, hey, hi, how you doing? I'm not doing anything. The AI actually will come in here and look to see if you're stealing anything. Alright, enough of that. We don't need it. So, what's up, Miss Reyes? Or not, uh, Miss, uh, Zoe? Just checking the inventory! <laughs> All right. 
I, I think we should save it here. As much as I want to do the main story now, we're already, like, way behind, and that was a lot we already did. Oh, wait, actually, no, I do need to talk to Zoe. I need to sell the other contraband that I'm not gonna keep. If there's something you need, no matter what it is, either I have to be my guest. You know those Zion mics? I know they have exposed cockpits. Cockpits. That's why I said 20 mil. I still have to possibly be bit by a spider and die. A giant spider, nonetheless. So, yeah. Definitely paying me more. <laughs> now, she isn't going to give us too, too much for these, but I just don't want them on me. Ugh, I wish I could sell this to someone else for more money, but you're the only one who takes uh, questionable goods. Our, our commerce is upgrading, which is why I'm selling stuff. We're at 600, 6,690. 6, we haven't even done the first main story mission yet. This is what I mean about this is kind of what I do in these games. So now we have a little, a lot of overhead. And we're capable of taking off some accidents or suffering some inconveniences funds-wise. So, we are doing pretty good. All right. The Trade Authority appreciates your visit. I hope you appreciate my work of the view today as well, Zoe. I will be back to become a a driver slash pilot. Don't go in there, Va Vasco. Get out of the door. Vasco, get over here. Get out of the door. I swear. <laughs> Dude, it's like a puppy dog of a robot. Alright, let's make a save. Let's make a save. Our character's starting to come along. And now that I... Oh, let me make sure I still have my trucker out there or stuff. Make sure apparel is still... Yeah! Alright, cool. Because technically the jacket was stolen too, so they took that too. The trucker shirt. I just wish that I just hope there's a way to get rid of the stolen attribute at some point. Like there's got to be a way to remove that straight from it, right? Otherwise, I'm never gonna get off this planet. We'll have to see how that goes. But for now, we're gonna save it since we we can be safe down here for now, so it doesn't do anything game breaking. What we'll have to do is if it don't work, we'll have to try to find an apparel shop, buy a trucker hat, and then get rid and what we're using. And then have to sadly get rid of the stolen ones. But that depends on how this goes. There's got to be a way for the game to know that you're doing it this way. So you can be a criminal still in your criminal playthroughs. We're going to be kind of a hybrid. We're not going to be totally uh, above the law. But we're not going to be totally below it either. So, we're going to be kind of in the middle. We're going to do what a space trucker probably would have to do in most cases in a reality like this to kind of survive to a certain extent, depending on who he's working for, especially since we've decided to work for the trade authority. <laughs> or at least help them for now. I'm still on fence if there's any other... Actually, I should ask you, Farseer. You've played this before, right? Or seen most of this. Is there any other factions that would suit a space trucker better than the trade authority. If you're wearing it, does it still count as contraband? It does if you get caught, but I don't know if it does for scanning. We're going to find out. That's why I'm going to sell everything that's... Which I forgot to do that in there. I keep... Or no, did I? I sold everything. So let's save it. But what I th the way I think it works, at least for clothes... Unless you get caught doing something else like I did eating chocolate. Um, I think the clo wearing the clothes, you can get away with that. Like, I think that's not truly affected. I think you can get past that. Unless they do some sort of uh, scam for bounty. I don't know. I don't know how that works. We're going to have to play with that a little bit. But give me a hundred million because that spider is going to whoop my arse if that bastard is smart. I mean, yeah, but spy I guess... But a, a spider, the, the biggest problem you're going to have to deal with as a spider, other than its speed, is just basically its, its webbing. It depends on the spider, too. 
since you didn't technically specific, specify type of spider, some spiders don't even do webs. They're just poison, brute strength, and speed. It's about getting bit. The thing is, will you even survive to get that money, even if you kill it? Because if it manages to get one good clean snip on you with as big of things as it has, not only is that going to wound you terribly, but yeah, you're probably just ate some poison into your system that will kill you in a matter of 0.2 seconds because of the size of spider. If it's got poison to kill things that it's supposed to eat bigger than it, imagine what that's going to do to you as a tiny human. So... Yeah, see, that's terrible. If it's one of those, then that's, yeah. That's pretty deathly. Because Huntsman, wait, Huntsman spiders, they're the poisonous ones, right? They have poison, right? Some spiders also don't have poison. It's the reverse. They just brute strength and pure, pure fangs. But, yeah, I still think with a Huntsman, because I'm pretty sure they're poisonous. Oh, that's cool. It eventually does, like, a little thing. How do I switch to apparel, by the way? Like, why am I always in my suit? We don't need to be in a suit in here. Is there a way to do that? That's cool. You can look at that. Oh, I can see the crimes I've done. That's cool. But there is trespassing in places, but we've yet to find one. Lock picked six. Locks picked six. You can pick pockets? How the hell do you do that? That must be some sort of perk I have to do to be able to do that ability. I'm not doing that, but once again, this game is crazy. How do I put myself in my attire? We're in atmosphere. Why would it not automatically do that? How do I set it as what we're seeing? I don't know, actually. I mean, it's equipped under the suit. they don't let you change your outfit like it's just is it ever gonna show me in my in my apparel what's the point of apparel if you can't do it what is this that's missions ship oh so I could actually go in the missions there I didn't see that notch there there's no no picture below it I don't know Pure brute strength, so also unequip the suit. Oh, I have to unequip the suit to see it. Ah, oops. Okay. At least we have to unequip our helmet, too. Ah, okay. But now, okay, wait, but hold on. Was that why I was cheating it? Hold on, where's the cop at? I need security. Sir, do you recognize what I'm wearing? Doesn't seem so. Or madam, actually. Sir's over there. I went to the wrong one. I think I got them. What do you call them? Corns? Yeah, I got corns. What does that even mean? I don't know what that means. I don't know if I want to know what that means. Brute strength is not that bad. If the spider's just speed and brute strength. Actually, a huntsman might not be that bad fighting with a mech if it's pure brute strength. Because the only brute strength it's going to have is in its fangs. You're in a mech, so you're going to be able to control most of the legs. Because spiders don't really fight with their legs. They don't know how to do that. 
what you saw in Eight Legged Freaks is not a thing. I've never seen a spider do what you've seen that one spider in Eight Legged Freaks do during that one scene where it runs up to a dude and uses its front two legs and mandible and goes kind of like a stabby motion. Plus, most spider legs don't have sharp things on the end of them that would defeat the purpose of how they crawl and why they're so fast. So, the fangs would be the only thing it could do that with. So as long as you control the fangs and it has no no poison, no spitting ability, no poisonous hairs like the bird eater. Like the bird eating spider does. If it can throw its hairs, you're also very fricked. Because it can just poison the air around you inside the suit while you're holding onto its mouth. Keeping it from biting you. Then you bite then it bites you because now you're too weak to hold it. But yeah, I don't know. I still think pure brute strength is better. That's better than fighting a giant black widow. Because if she gets you at all, you are dead. <laughs> like there's not a single hit you can take from that thing. That's and even a small one can kill a grown human in a matter of short amount of time, depending on where it bites you. Imagine a giant one. <laughs> I actually would be more terrified if it was a widow, even though they're more squishy and body-wise than the Huntsman. That's also something else the Huntsman will have at least going for it. She'll be a little tankier as a giant spider. She'll have a better carapace, better to withstand hits, but that doesn't mean she's still going to win. Yeah, okay. Now, if we're talking about Orb Weaver fake spiders from, well... The fake version of the Orb Weaver spiders from frickin' Eight-Legged Freaks? That's a, that thing's gonna kill you no matter what you do. You ain't getting paid no matter how much you want. You ain't winning that fight. You'd need a gun. Now, if you're able to have the gun that they have? Maybe. I'll still do that for... I'll, I'll up it to 100 million, though. You ain't getting away with no 20 million me fighting something that scary. I'll say at least 100 mil because I have a gun. But if I don't have a gun, I, I'm not doing that at all. That's suicide. That's, that's a trap. You're not going to get paid because you're going to be dead. Even if you did manage to kill it with you. Those things are way too unrealistic. They do behave unlike any spider that actually exists in real life. <laughs> Even if spiders were smarter. And sentient. Which would, gosh forbid, that sentence. But either way, let me save it one more time with our trucker outfit on. I don't have any legs. The only way to see it would be third person. There we are. Us and our beautiful selves. Running! Space trucker Jerry. On the scene. Alright, anyways. Save it one more time. I'd do it for 20 quid and a bottle of whiskey. What? Yeah, but you wouldn't get that either. You'd be dead. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter what price, I guess, at the end of the day. You're not going to get paid any of it if you're fighting an orb weaver. <laughs> Give me the whiskey first, and I'll probably do it just for the laugh. That's true. Okay, that's a fair trade, at least in Tam King's deal, because at least he gets part of the reward before he dies. Because he's gonna die. But at least he got this, the whiskey first. It also make the death less terrible, because he'll be so pissed, you won't know what's really happening. <laughs> Okay, time to make it a bit more fair. You get an avatar mech and a knife. Okay. Okay, now it's doable again because it has a screen on it. It has a freaking glass for the field. And those things take some beatings. You saw how tough the general's glass was that it took before the... Like, even when uh, they shot the arrows at him. When he was still human. By the way, spoiler alert. I didn't mean to say that out loud too fast. For anyone who hasn't seen the sequel, but the sequel's not even in theaters anymore, so good luck. 
Good movie, though. That was a good movie. I do like me some Avatar. Some people don't. You have to look at it for what it is. It's meant to be a, an action show. It's meant to be what I wish the, the Halo show was. Because that, that movie had the perfect amount of action mixed with drama. That's what the Halo show should feel like. Is what Avatar is like. <laughs> it did a really good job with it. And you could also, also include the Covenant as a proper character in a show like that. It would be so amazing. I wish the show was more like the Avatar movies. Power loader. You just grab it and crush it. That's true if you can grab it fast enough. But remember, orb weavers are extraordinarily powerful and strong. Once again, fantasy on top of fantasy. It's a spider that already doesn't exist and then was made a giant spider. Already in its own movie, even. Like, in its own movie, it's already a giant spider. But, especially if it's the female. If it's the queen. Oh, God. That literally becomes the fight between Ripley and the, and the xenomorph. <laughs> but it's a spider, which is way scarier. No offense to Xenos. Having to fight a giant orb weaver would be way more terrifying to me in real life than fighting a Xenomorph Queen. Even if they were real, I still think the look of a spider is far scarier than what a Xeno can present in that size. Oh yeah, well technically the one in the movie was bigger than the car. That thing was big as a bus. Pretty sure that thing was bus sized to mini house sized. Because the tarantula in that movie was smaller than her as well, technically. She was huge. Like, <laughs> Empress huge, basically, it felt like. Because even the tarantula that got upsized, he wasn't even as big as she was. But. But that is very scary, though. It'd be cool. It'd be a cool thing to see in a movie. Not in real life, but in a movie it'd be cool to see. Or giant foot. If it's a real world spider, they ain't armored. That's true. They, they still, they'd still be easy to squish with a power loader. That's a good point. Well, if it's a real life spider, yeah. But since it's not a real world spider, it wouldn't have that problem. But a real life spider, that's kind of what I what I was saying before. As long as you can hold it at bay. Spiders aren't tanks. They're not tanky. They're not known for, hey, a human steps on it and it keeps going. There's very little spiders like that. I don't think there's any, actually. If there are any, there are the ones that are living in the desert in the sands, like the sand spiders and all that. And those can be arguably not spiders. Even though they have eight legs. They could be looked at as more crustaceans if you really want to argue about, like, what the sand spider is. It's just not in the water. But I agree with Tam King on that. Majority of real life spiders, other than the one we're talking about, which is fake, would just. You'd, you'd be able to crush them. Hell, even the loader from Zion should, even, should be able to do that. Easily. Okay, and the one from Avatar is just OP. If in that in that logic. Okay, time to up the pain. You get an Avatar mech with a gun, but you have to fight a Xenomorph Queen spawned from a Death Claw. See, now that's just not fair, Fight. <laughs> now you're just forcing us to lose. That's a lose lose scenario. That's back to Tam King just drinking the whiskey and doing it for a final laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure a Xenomorph Queen spawned from a Death Claw would be the end of humanity. Death Claws are already partially the end of humanity, literally in Fallout. Just because of how terrible they are if one comes one, one comes a calling. Putting a Xeno in the mix just like, yeah, I just felt like destroying my entire species. <laughs> <laughs> you get a gun this time. That ain't gonna help! It's a Death Claw! Mixed with a Xeno! 
Have you seen Fallout? We've shot a Death Claw before, right? You see how many bullets a Death Claw takes. You imagine that with a Xenomorph. Who now gives the Death Claw blinding Xeno speeds. Oh, and acid. He can now spit acid at you. Ha ha ha! Among other things, depending on the alien that did it. If it bleeds, we can kill it. <laughs> It's like, it's death claws are the bane of my existence. I don't miss them, but I love them at the same time. I do not miss their existence when I play Fallout, but I also love them. <laughs> used to be the most terrifying thing you'd ever, ever experience in a game back in the older Fallout days, the good days. Back in the three days and the two days and all the good days. When you heard that sound, or saw a glimpse of it in the distance, you were like, no! <laughs> At least not until late, 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 late game. <laughs> I'm just giving you a false sense of hope. I, exactly. <laughs> you give me a gun, like, it'll help. No, it won't. Not say, you say in your head, no, it won't. He'll be dead by the end of the afternoon. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> But anyways, this has been a good one. I'm really do I am really enjoying Starfield now. Now that we've got it at a bare running minimum where it's not too bad even during the choppier sections, we can kind of enjoy and experience the game a little bit better. It's mostly going to be for the stories and the crazy amount of choices in roleplay that we can do in this universe. So, Can it take hundreds of explosive in the rounds before it gets uh, it gets you though? Technically, I think it can. I don't remember how good explosives were in Fallout against Death Claws. Because that's what's making the Xeno even stronger. Death Claws themselves naturally are the scariest thing to have to deal with. I don't remember if explosions were good against them in Fallout, because that's what I'd have to base it on. If you saw it coming, you could shred it if it's... But I'm pretty sure Deathclaw explosions don't kill Deathclaws very easily. They're pretty freaking armored. They're pretty tough. Yeah, the, a queen one would be massive. And because it's a female, Deathclaws are bigger female-wise. It tanked a fucking minigun round. A fuck ton of minigun rounds. So that means technically it does. Because some minigun mini mini rounds are explosive cap. That's even in real life to a certain extent. A little, to, uh, for certain, like, armaments on vehicles. So if it can tank that, there is a chance that that might not save you. Especially mixing in that it's a, giant, it's a Queen Zeno as well. So this thing's gonna be pretty big, and I do be big. And a, a lot can tank tank rockets, yeah. Now, technically, the Xenos can't necessarily tank that, but once again, it is part Deathclaw now, so now it's got Deathclaw skin, which is terrible. That'd actually be a, be a type of Xeno I think even the Predators would have a problem with. Especially since they like to get physical and not use their plasma casters a lot. I feel like a Deathclaw Xeno would be the ultimate predator hunt. They would love hunting that thing, just because of how dangerous it would be. And let's not get started on how, about how many Whalen Institutes would be destroyed by these. <laughs> But anyways. Alright guys. I'm gonna give a big shout out. I wanna give a big shout out to Tam King being in chat tonight, coming and enjoying some uh some Starfield. And also a big shout out to Farseer, my moderator as always, making sure that no one notices our slightly unscrupulous acts. <laughs> um and making sure no one is paying attention. Uh, remember, plasma weapons in Fallout don't kill the bigger ones. That's true, they don't. But even then, it's like, imagine meleeing one of those. 
I reckon a, a, I reckon a silverback could take a predator 1v1. That's true. Well, I'm pretty sure they've killed silverbacks. I actually think that is one of the human animals they've hunted before. It actually would make sense. A silverback could break a predator, even with a predator being as... Actually, the irony in this is I actually think a silverback is closer to what predator strength actually is than what humans could ever do, right? Or at least right now. Uh, how we do things that without like, at least without maximum training and you going through lots of changes in your life human physical wise but as far as standardly yeah the silverback gorilla is definitely as strong as a predator it, it, it's not as agile but it's definitely as strong as one they could definitely punch a predator and knock its lights out if they hit it hard enough especially if it didn't have a face plate that dude's gonna get some broken mandibles plus they could technically tear its arm off if they really got him strong down enough probably most likely I, I like i said i imagine it's a pretty tough battle or easy battle between a silverback and a predator physically like if the predator's not cheating and just cutting the freaking silverback up with his wrist blades too much and he's trying to physically actually kill him with his bare hands because predators like to make it fair the predator might die in that fight So a predator would not survive that fight. I wouldn't say wouldn't survive it. Oh, you're talking about a, a death claw? Probably not. Physically fighting a death claw in melee seems kind of like a terrible idea. If they're going to be matched for a silverback gorilla, that's a normal human animal strength-wise, the death claw is going to overwhelm a predator pretty hard and pretty quickly as a xenomorph in melee. They're going to have to shoot it. Or the predator's gonna have to sacrifice himself and blow the place sky high. <laughs> because, uh, because, like I said, unless they're gonna use all their tech in their advantage, since predators love to be honorable, regular predators, Suyat Jaw is a different beast. Since they don't care about fairness, they always will technically use whatever's at their disposal. So. Some of those fights become less doable for certain things. That's that's the difference where that's where the silverback would lose instantly. It couldn't be the Suyatja. A Yatja, yes, but not a Suyatja. Suyatjas are basically gorilla predators. <laughs> not literally, but that's what it feels like. But either way. But I hope y'all enjoyed this cool, awesome continuation stream of Starfield. Tomorrow is Friday. So, because I have therapy tomorrow, I'm not going to do Halo tomorrow. Because I don't want to have to worry about getting back too late, then, for, then speed streaming, getting on here as quickly as possible, and then starting the stream. Plus, I'll be more tired. So I won't be as fast and as... Or, I won't be as, like, into making longer longer jumps and longer stints. So we're going to do my guest shooter tomorrow. Where we're going to dive back into Ardnot's rabbit hole of lore. The Guardian Lore Hole. <laughs> That's a terrible name. Going to have to come up with a better name than that. That's the goal. The Guardian, no, the, the GLO, the GLOW. Welcome to the Glow, Glo Guardian Lo No. That would be, that's not how you spell, that's an H, so. Guardian. I forget what I said now. <laughs> Guardian Lore Hole, there we go. Hey, I have Starfield. Yeah, we all have Starfield, it's on pass. No, I'm just kidding. There's a starship simulator. Oh, I know. Tim King told me about it already. I already know about that, Farseer. Tim King has already enlightened me. I'm definitely going to get it, even though at some point, especially if there's an early access coming at some point, I'm going to get it. But my rig will probably not like it. Even though it looks amazing. Also, James, I have I, 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 I have Starfield. Yep. We all have it, James. We all do. But yeah, but yeah, the the, uh, the guard the guardian lore hole. So 
No, we need something else. We're gonna call it, we need to call it something else. Guardian Observation Lore. Goal? Or glow? Guardian Lore Observation? That sounds more realistic. Glow! Sup, Tam King? I still can't find out why you couldn't hear me on my stream. Was it on your PlayStation? If so, I did. If so, it depends on your mic. If you're still using, here's my here's my worry, James. And this is something you should have probably checked. If are you using that USB converter thing? That little USB turns that thing into a different type of USB. I know, and you said or not. Okay, so what it might, might... Okay, you're not going to like this, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Some devices, some conversion devices, can't transfer certain things. It may not be built to transfer your audio through it. Meaning your headset may be trying to send audio, but the converter is not compatible with a microphone. Meaning it's meant for just hearing stuff. It's meant for a headset to listen to, but not talk through. So this means that that is not the solve to your issue. You're going to have to either plug it in a different port on the back of your PlayStation 5... Or you're just going to have to find a different converter that does the same thing, but better. I wasn't using the converter when I started it for a second time. That might be in the settings, then, if that's the case. Cause it, it, because it shouldn't be your headset, unless, like I said before, kind of why I don't use Corsair. <laughs> Because they're not compatible with some things anymore. Have you checked all the settings? Yeah, I would say check the settings first. It could be something as simple as the audio de input device is not set to your headset. Maybe it's trying to default to something else. Check that first. If, it, if you can't find anything in any of that, then it's either... It's either, if it's not even in the settings, then it's most likely maybe ps is not compatible with Corsair. Which means you need to jump on the Razor Drain, like I've told you for years. <laughs> because guess what headset sponsors PlayStation? Razor. There may be a problem where that may have caused some sort of Sony issue where Sony, kind of like Microsoft does in the reverse because their razor headsets are terrible um yes i did and everything was fine and correct in the settings so it's got to be a compatibility issue that means your corsair headset if that's what you're using is not compatible with ps5 because of the deal with razor He can't connect his headset to his control. It's a USB, I think. It's not a it's not a head jack phone kind of headset. It's a um, USB headset. That's that's actually kind of why I'm I'm assuming it's a PlayStation problem now. I'm assuming PlayStation just decided. Nope, it's a Corsair. Nope. As a big thing with companies, to be fair. Sadly. That's why Corsair works so much better. Lots have, lots have a jack, too. I don't think his does. Mine don't. A lot of the bigger, more professional headsets don't do that. They have to keep it one type to make the quality of sound always the same type. Because of haptic sensorings and things like that. Because ha headsets have haptic sensors in them now. So it's like, so a lot of that has, can't go through certain types of cords. So, 
I do think that's what it is. I think it's just, it's just maybe it's not compatible. Without me being able to get on there and see if I can talk. Here's the other way to test it, James. Because it could be something in your stream settings, too. But I'd have to look at that myself. Um, in a, somehow. I don't know how I would, but I'd have to look at that myself to see how that, what you have set. It could be a stream setting as well, but if it's not that, the only other way to know if it is something to do with YouTube or something to do with PlayStation or whatever, you need to try to chat with it. Like, you need to get into a Guardian chat with, like, Tam King or somebody, or me, and you need to see if I can hear you in that. If I can't hear you in that, that means your headset is just not compatible to do audio through PlayStation. That happened to me with my Fidelio I had years ago. My Philips Fidelio I used to own. Started becoming too much of a problem for anything to recognize it. Otherwise, I don't really know what to tell you without looking through your stuff myself and seeing if there's anything you missed. It's a lot of just guessing at that point at this point what it could be I'd rather get tur Turtle Beach than Razor I actually don't think Turtle well they do have a Playstation model They Turtle Beach does have a PS they're kind of both so they do have a PS5 model I don't know if I'd still like Turtle Beach though their sound quality is okay I just don't like their sound quality that's kind of why I go Razor to be fair at the end of the day why I prefer Razor over any other headset so far from all the headsets I've ever tried, Corsair, Fidelio, Philips, um, uh, 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 Turtle Beaches, so far no other headset to me, just personally, I don't, doesn't mean this is true for everybody, to me so far the, the best quality sound I've ever had in a headset is all my razors I've ever owned. Every other headset has static, has some sort of weird back feed sound sometimes when certain sounds get too loud or when certain sounds do this or you have background sounds sometimes it creates fuzziness or staticiness I don't like that that drives me insane that literally drives me up a wall with having OCD when my headset does that when I can constantly hear white noise that will drive me mad so I can't stand that so I I prefer headsets with massive amounts of occlusion Sound occlusion and uh, cancellation and stuff. I can do that tonight. I can jump on PS5 after work. Yeah, if, I, if I'm still up and it's not too late, because it has to be early enough where I'm able to get my headset, because by a certain time, my mom will be asleep, and I won't be able to put the headset for my PS5 on. If you're able to get on early enough, I am, I'm still able to get my headset, I definitely will be able to. I'll test that with you tonight. If we're not able to, we'll plan to test it as soon as you have your first day off again. And we'll jump on there real quick and I'll, we'll see what's happening. Because like I said, for all I know, it could be something just stupid simple and it's just somehow either it eluded you or it just was being really weird. I, who knows? These days it could be anything. But I've gotten good at fixing stuff now, it seems. As I did with Starfield, making it bearable and not not making my brain want to throw up inside my eyes. Um, I'm getting quite good at doing this. <laughs> In five hours, I get off work. Five hours, ten, eleven. So that'd be ten, eleven, twelve, one. No, she'll be asleep by then. We'll have to do it when you get another day off. As I can be on PC that late. Because I can put my own PC headset on by myself. This Razer headset's is easy for me to put take on and put off without having arms. Because the way it how the way it works and where it lays on my desk. Um but I can't do that with my PlayStation one. The the fancy one, which is ironic. Um but, um, but yeah, as far as the testing, yeah, we'll have to wait till you get another day off. I might be on here on PC when you get on, when you get home, but I, I, I won't be able to chat on PlayStation. Because I won't be able to put it back either. 
I can take it off, but not put it on. <laughs> Slanesh words with uh, Slanesh sayings with Artnop when he's not even trying. I can take it off, but not put it on. <laughs> Anyways. All right, chat. All right, everyone. We should probably wrap it up here for some Starfield tonight. Tomorrow's going to be our guest star shooter that I have planned already. That's a part of our Ardnaughts uh, lore observation, or Guardian lore observation is tomorrow. Where we're going to be checking out a franchise that's related to another franchise. To now my brain's trying to wesker this franchise and go, wait a minute, I'm seeing something I don't like. And I don't know if it's true or not. So we're going to dive into my crazy rabbit hole brain tomorrow. Hope you enjoy that. <laughs> Uh, can't, I can't wait till you see what game it is. You're going to know what I'm talking about after you see what game it is. You might be thinking, oh no, I think I know what he's thinking. We're going to find out. <laughs> we're going to play through... We're not going to play through all of them. We're going to show off them. And then we're going to play the one that has the most story in it without having to look it up or find all the secrets. Because the first two games, much like the first two games of its later on predecessor don't really have too much in the way of story except for telling it in the environment which is what we'll try to pay attention to as we go forward because it shouldn't take me that long to beat a game like that during the themes that's why it'll keep coming back slowly and we'll finish it over time and work our way up to the I think it's four or five that came out the last of this game before it stopped getting made because another game took over its presence technically but okay my next day off is Saturday anyways I gotta go have a good one you too James alright I'll see you Saturday if I don't see you before then I'll talk to you before then I'll, I'll talk to you Saturday bro and we'll we'll figure it out we'll see what's going on try to get it straightened out But you have a good night, James. Have a good one, bro. Peace and love at work, bro. Don't crash into anybody intentionally. <laughs> Even though I'm telling you to secretly do so. What? Nothing. But anyway, GG, what, James, don't work too hard is what Tam King said. Yeah. Yeah. Work less, drive over obstacles more. We'll word it that way. <laughs> But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Peace and love to everyone as well. To Tam King, Farseer, and everyone joined tonight. Seriously, thank you so much for joining up. Hope you're enjoying our little series of Starfield. Um, we'll be continuing this. I need to focus on Reach. So the irony is this is probably only going to get one more episode. Because we need to focus on Reach and try to have it beat before Monday. So we have to have Reach beat by Sunday. So what I'm probably going to do since tomorrow is filler day. We'll do our filler game tomorrow. Do whatever multiplayer thing we're going to do with James unless he wants to do single player on his own since he doesn't get a lot of time to do that on his own. Um, if James wants to do single player, then I'll do it Saturday. If he wants to do a multiplayer game Saturday, I'll do it Sunday. And that's when we'll finish up Reach. I'll do a small episode of Starfield in front of it, just to give a little flavoring to Starfield, but I think Starfield's going to have to wait till the next swing around till Shooter comes back again, which won't be that long, because the way I work it is, as we said before, every week to two weeks, I put up a vote, which is usually Saturday is when the vote starts, Friday at the earliest. This week, I'm going to start the vote on Saturday, not Friday, but... Vote, the vote will start Saturday this week, and we'll vote on what the next week's theme is going to be. Strategy, whatever. It can't be Shooter, because we already did Shooter. I try to not do the same themes back-to-back -back so they don't get too, too much spammed out. When we do the Final Fantasy setup, that's also going to have to be somewhat done that way, a little. But it's going to get two weeks instead of one week each time. That way, the RPG stuff 
Which is what that's going to be under, role-playing theme. Because JRPG and RPG are just the same thing, just one's Japanese. Um, so, those will be under the same same theme. Uh, and that'll happen that, and those will have two-week segments, usually. Because RPGs can be long-winded. <laughs> so, <laughs> of any kind. Doesn't even have to be Final Fantasy. Any RPG can be very long. Even this one right here is going to be long-winded. This shooter RPG we're playing right now. Which I can't... I might justify Starfield during those times as well. Because this is also an RPG. This is not a survival though. Can't justify survival. We don't starve to death in this game. And we don't have to build shelter. We can build a base, but we don't have to build shelter. So... Um, so this won't be, this, the two themes this will probably pop up the most in for Starfield is Shooter and RPG. So that, because this is a heavy role-playing game. So, just like, a uh, Baldur's Gate and all that. Especially with all the choices and things we're doing. So. But, big shout-out to everyone. I hope you enjoyed and are enjoying the Shooter theme this week. And I hope to surprise you guys with some special lore theories tomorrow. After I get back from physical therapy. And then we will continue into the chaos this weekend. But peace and love. Big shout out to Temp King again. And to Fossier, my moderator. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye. Oh, and remember. Missiles are fucking everything. <laughs> I watched that video, by the way, Fossier. That's all I'll say. And uh, wow. Just wow. That game. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, for democracy and jets. <laughs> I hope everyone has enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. <laughs> Peace and love, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.